Hello, hello, how are you? It's been so long. How are you doing, my boy? We talked yesterday. Mm, sorry, uh, <laughs> Cass. Cass is in the chat. We haven't talked uh, to him in a thousand years. Uh, but no, we talked to you yesterday. And hello, Joe. Hello, Joe. It's been so a thousand years. Embarrassed. Don't fucking come at me with that. Uh, if I was that excited to talk to you, you would roast me like that. No. No. <laughs> no, except for you totally just roasted me. We talked yesterday, you dumb bitch. I know. <laughs> Hi, Cass. Uh, I was there. Uh, he says... Uh, I'm Gucci. I guess. Uh, and they asked, er, he asked how we are, and I'm good. I listen to a lot of pop music to prepare for this. So, you remember when we killed Seymour? I mean, did we though? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. Yes. Yeah. That was cool. Huh? Cool. Uh, Klaus says that they know nothing about Final Fantasy. Um, uh, know that they're all totally different games. Yeah, they're not never never linked unless it's like Final Fantasy X-2. Yeah. Then that's the sequel to X. But usually they're not linked. And they they usually like have themes and stuff. Like this one's like religion, religion. and the relationship with death and uh, sports. <laughs> the one that I played was like <laughs> environment. And Environmentalism. Yeah, and like the world ending is fucking rad, and I loved it. And corporate greed. Yeah. This one I it like was... a little less. And by a little, <laughs> yeah. I mean quite a bit. Uh, but there's know. there's things that are good. I think religion is kind of fascinating. Religion like, is super fascinating. I guess people I'm use just it to cope with death. You know? I guess, and again, I'm not here to shit on religion because I think religion is super fascinating. I guess if I want to learn about religion, I want to learn about real religion. It's just symbolism, you know I mean? dude. Like, no, 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 no I get it, but I guess like if you're cussing. gonna play with religion, I don't. I want it to be like Mormons or whatever, you know. <laughs> Zanarkand is on the other side, you know. I know. Oh my god. Uni Are you gonna is gonna get the final A on, you know. See? I know. I'll see. I uh, still haven't thought of anything. Me neither. What are we gonna do? We'll do something. We just don't know enough yet. Until we do, we really can't help Yuna. I just wish his Let's go to Xanarkin. We'll find something there. What? He's It'll all come together. I know it. Hey. Hmm? Just now, you sounded like a leader, you know? Star of the Xanarkin Abes. Didn't anyone tell you? <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> I like Riku, she's fucking weird. Huh? See? <laughs> I said, but did we? Uh, bitch. The son of Jack. Fucking Seymour. Riku, run ahead and tell Oren. Stupid pedophile with his ugly hair. Alone. Just go, go! Do you have to fight him one on one? Is this the hard battle? This is the very now hard battle. Oh die. shit! Prepare yourself, son. I think you've played Tinkus enough that you'll be okay, though. Not if I can help it. If I had one minor complaint about this game, I think Yuna should be the main character. This is more first. I, I would also agree, but it is kind of interesting yeah. to see someone's Maybe main story Yuna. and you're not the main pleasure. character. Like, that's kind of cool. Yeah. I kind of like that. Ascending so soon. Oh yeah, he's dead. So but of course, we had to play as a boy. Yeah, gross. Yeah. That's right. His spirit is here. Uh, Ka says that they wish they knew Yours they weren't connected. He probably would have played a newer race. one by now. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I would start with 7. I would best. start with 7, too, because that one um, is the best. Start, start with 7 the, Remake? Yeah, well, play the original. different, actually. That was like a huge If surprise. you like the original, then play the remake, because yeah, the remake no. is fun, but it changes the story quite a bit. So if you did want to start with one and you're interested, I would play I would play 7. I think you would play. And remake isn't finished. I don't understand. Yeah, yeah. I'm so not you, saying like it's you, bad finished. Like it, there's it's, just, it's gonna be episodic, is what I mean. Yeah. 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 You don't have Sid yet. Uh, uh, Cass or, says that he also he also thought that Seymour's hair was wings. Yeah. Which is fair. To destroy. It's gonna jump off. Spirit, I will become sin. 
Why does he have like hair on right on, on his, on his, like, his upper torso, ab. not on his like titties and his nippies? Come yeah. Like I know people have like hairy stomachs, but I don't feel like they have hairy stomachs there typically. Once I have become the next sin, your father will. He's just gross again. in every way. Uh, uh, ooh, he says he'll probably try seven then. Yeah. Wow. Sounds yeah. Like let us know, know what you think. It's the first I've only I've only ever played one Final Fantasy, and it was seven, and I really really liked it. There's his mobile suit Gundam. <laughs> Wait, turn it up a little, Annie. This boss fight music, though. And you are meaningless existence with it. Here we go. Notoriously hard boss fight. Oh, okay. So you have people. Can you switch people out still, or oh, is yeah, it just those main people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was just going to be Tinker. So I was like, jeez. Go Tinkus. Shaking his fist like an old lady. I'll get you. I can't wait to be an old lady, honestly. Lance of atrophy. Who are you reviving? Oh. oh. I see what he did. He turned him into a zombie. Shit. Do I have any? No. My beastman. Don't let my beastman it's, die. He gets two turns, so he can just insta kill anyone. Yeah. Or like he gets two turns sometimes. That's that cool. sucks. Man, of atrophy turns into a zombie. I like definitely don't mind. Um. Holy water. I knew it was stocked up for a reason. Yeah. I don't mind like hard boss fights, but when it's shit that I feel like is unfair, that's when I get annoyed. Like, like when you really have to grind, like it. Well, or like, like this, like if this, if he keeps killing someone in one hit, like that's gonna, to me, that's a little unfair. Right. You well, know? I can talk to him. Well, so, um, you have that's all. Angered Kimari. Oh shit! The spirits of the Ronso will guide Kimari's spear. Hell yeah, Kimari. Because I definitely don't mind hard. Like, Sephiroth was really hard, and I definitely was getting pissed off. I was getting mm -hmm. salty. And then once things were fine, it was, it was like, oh, this seems fair, you know? Uh-huh, he tried. It was hard, right. but it seemed fair. Mighty guard. At first, it didn't seem fair, and I was real fucking mad. <laughs> Do a Stevie. You gotta heal your boys. Oh, uh, you bitch. Don't you touch Lulu. I'll squeeze, squeeze lemon juice in your eyes. <laughs> He's gotta give me all the stat buffs. Anyway. Let's, uh, oh, I can't. You can instantly KO an enemy, but you can't do it on bosses. Does it at least do damage though? Like a good amount of damage or no? Does it just fail? I think it just says they're immune. Speaking of it, we really should taste it. Go. Oh. Oh my god. 27? Jesus Christ. Holy water. I do wish D&D &D had um, this many hit points for your characters. Like, I know eventually we'll get it, but... 64 isn't enough, okay? <laughs> I'm a big beastly dragon lady. Which one should I do? Um, or should you drain? Uh, do, okay. Yeah, do drain. That's a good idea. Ooh. Ooh, fuck yeah. That's good. Dude, that's better than Pokemon. <laughs> Stop zombifying my boys. 
Cause she's cool. Oh, blizz ball, Adam Walker. <laughs> True. Bring your blizz, your blizz ball. Oh, you're, he's out. That's why that kid wanted to grow up to be a Blitzball, because he wanted to be Waka's Blitzball. <laughs> and help yeah. defeat enemies. Yeah, Waka's ultimate <laughs> weapon's that kid. Is that kid? <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be a Blitzball when I grow up, and I want to murder God. <laughs> I want to be covered with spikes, and then I want to take down, take down a Sid. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be a Blitzball. I want to feel his his dead body on my skin. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know when you get hit by like a sports ball and it like it hurts because you kind of get like some sort of burn from it. Mm -hmm. That like it he's like I want to do that to Sid. I want to burn his skin. I want to hurt him. I want to give him an idiot bird. Oh, is that even? That's not even. What do you call that? Yeah, what do you call it now? Yeah, what should you call that now? Because that's all I know it as. <laughs> Which sounds awful, uh, but it is awful, and it is- I don't want to say it anymore, but what do you call that? Holy poly. Skin on skin burn? <laughs> the rubby burn? <laughs> that just sounds like an STD. You little bitch. Good job, Walker. Is that like 20? That was pretty sad. Oh, this move. Oh no. Can you, can you guys like epic jump? Uh oh. <laughs> Friction burn, maybe. You know, you're right. Cast, that's right. Friction burn. Oops. God, where? What? Why do you suck, dude? <laughs> Naming things like that? What? We. We? We? Yeah, no, Friction Burn makes sense. And that's probably what it should have always been called. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you missed. Little bitch. Who are you hoping to get his thing so you can knock him out of the park? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if we can do that. I really hope so, because that'd be tight. Do you have to talk to him? Do you to... not want to heal Spira's sorrow? Let death carry you off into peaceful slumber. Stop trying to kill your wife. You can't run. Your teenage your wife, you fuck. Jeez. Stop doing this to me. Oh no, I dropped. Don't do it. Mom! Seymour keeps making me a zombie! <laughs> Ass ham. Oh, what is he, Andy Warhol? You should name the next one Andy Warhol. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not teenage wife. Oh yeah, he is like what our age, and then he he married her, and she's seventeen, and it's upsetting. Death a forced you. a forced marriage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I couldn't think of the word arranged the other day, and my D&D character is, uh, they're, she's in the process of getting an arranged marriage, and I was like, God, what is it called? So I called it a forced marriage. Why can't you summon? Is true, but also sounds terrible. Well, you gotta hit him, so you, you can use it for, like, one hit, and that's a... Yeah, it's a big yikes. He's not a good I dude. I save my summons for her... Thingy majiggy. Unless they're gonna do 9999 damage, I don't know if it's worth it, you know? That won't work. <laughs> Is that an alchemy drug full of mayo? <laughs> oh! oh no. Penis. Pretty good damage, huh? Her name is one letter away from Tuna. <laughs> Tuna. Tuna. Tuna Leska. Oh, 
Oh, I'm dead. Oh, no. Really? Oh, fuck. Steven. Dang, homie. Uh, Casa, stop. You have to do QTEs in the fights, too. Only with, like, your overdrives or your limit breaks or whatever they're called in this one. Overdrive. Overdrive. Orange overdrive. overdrive. Uh, uh -huh. So, like, some of them will have it, but, like, other ones it'll be a different thing. So it just depends Lulu, on what character yeah. has their, like, big power move come up. Lulu, you have to, like, rotate... Oh, uh, the analog sick. Yeah, and then uh, Waka is like a slot machine type of thing where you have to try to get all the same colors. Mm -hmm. Um, what was Tinkus's? You have it's to like, like a, hit a bar, right? Yeah. You have to yeah. like try to you stop just... it in the middle or something. Seven mm -hmm. isn't like that at all. No, no, it's like, oh, I Tifa's limit break is ready. She just does it. If I tell mm -hmm. her to do it. Well, hers nice. is a slot, actually. Oh, hers is a slot, but that one is fun because you then you sometimes you make her stronger. <laughs> My biggest complaint with this game, Steven, is there's no Tifa. And I know there was not gonna be any Tifa, but I'll never not be a complaint. Dang. Second vote. Tifa's one of my favorite characters in any video game. Second vote? I love her. I don't have any zombie wards. Oh, here we go. What that means. Can I make a zombie ward? But like, I don't know, with Zelda, I like that they try new things, you know? When you're going to have so many of them, I do like it's like, oh, we're going to make our... Overdrive's different. It's go we're gonna make it like a little, you know, make it a little harder. I, I see why they try new things. So, like the Power Rangers movie where they they all have cars. Uh, Mariska Hergate from SVU was going to be in a Power Rangers movie, but then she got fired. Oh. But cool. I saw the bikini she was supposed to wear. Oh my god. Ugh. Hold on. I should buy more holy water. You should. You def should. Um, also, I can't imagine her in a fucking Power Rangers movie. I can't. It would be so weird. But she's got, like, kiddos now, so that could have been fun, you know? Like, hey, look at Mom being this dorky-ass kid movie. Look at me, man. What was your favorite Power Ranger? Mine? Yeah. I don't remember Power Rangers. Oh. Uh, so Joe, what was your favorite Power Ranger? Like, like person? Yeah. Like, uh, um, I like the the green one. Nice. I like the pink one. Yeah. Yeah. Do they have names? Uh, yeah, of course they do. But I don't <laughs> remember anything about Power Rangers except for there's a pink one, and then the yellow one was an Asian girl. Isn't the black one a black guy? I think so. And the white one was a white guy, I think, or maybe the white one was a what black guy? I can't remember. Again, I, don't, I remember very little of Power Rangers. And something fun that I learned is when they brought it to America, they reused all of the Japanese uh, like action shots, but then they just filmed everything else with American actors and stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is crazy. I had no idea. It saves time, I guess. I, yeah, and it saves money. Yeah, like all those backgrounds are, are like in... Like, like it, 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 there's like a commonly used uh, place for all those, um, like all those fights that's in Japan. Yeah, it's so, I just think it's very funny. I love it. Um, but I have not watched a Power Ranger show, oh god, probably. At least, what, 15 plus years? It's gotta be more than yeah. that. It's gotta be longer than that. Cass says all he knows about Power Rangers is that there are a million shows. Yes. <laughs> yeah. There is a million. I do remember liking it. Oh. What's a popular show in Sweden that's like specifically Swedish? Yeah. I'm curious about that. Because 
because I've learned about some kids' cartoons from like, or not cartoons, but like kids' shows from like England, and some of them are scary. Like, what are you? The what penis are you guy. Doing? Not the penis guy, the guy, Mr. Oh, what was his name? Mr. Nosy or whatever, that guy I showed you, mm. that mask. Yeah. <laughs> Cass says, I stopped watching Swedish stuff when I was like eight. <laughs> Just gave up. There's I mean, I guess that is America's number one transport and like offer to the world is our movies and TV shows and shit. Yeah. That's in Japan. India. But like, uh, for America, I think that's our number one like moneymaker. Mm -hmm. And tobacco. We don't need to talk about that. It'd be long stocking. Ah, dude. Was that Swedish? Um. Seriously, watch the fuck out of that. It it was yeah. Apparently, it was originally filmed in Sweden, and the original language was Swedish. Fuck yeah, dude! I but, love Pippi. Yeah, uh, okay. not the animated one, like the live action. Pippi. Oh, I, I only watched the cartoon one. Yeah. Me and my brother used to love the cartoon one. There was like a movie, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, weird. Shit, that's crazy. That's cool. Why'd you do that? Oh no, Waka. He why did he always oh, confused? Yeah. Oh, okay, I was like, why would you do that? He's just, uh, <laughs> he's just being silly. My, the, oh god, when, cause I made Tifa like the beefiest fucking bitch she could ever be. And so when she was confused, I was always very scared. It's like, oh god, she's just gonna massacre Cloud with one punch. And she did. Yeah, yep. And then Barrett, I was like, God, she's just wrecking at him, like our homies with one, one punch. One punch ham. One punch Tifa. <laughs> I did. Now I'm trying to think of like kids shows. So was it Little Bear or was it Brother Bear? Uh, Little Bear? Yeah, do you remember that cartoon? Baby. <gasps> I fucking loved it. It was so wholesome. Take that. Boom. Just got a dead body. And what they're doing with Blue's Clues right now is fucking beautiful and great, and it made me cry actually. And I love it. Did you like Blue's Clues? Blue's Clues was always great, but now they're like they did like a whole big song about like love and shit and so it was like gay couples and like mixed race couples and black couples and muslims and like super queer and it was great i learned about kwanzaa because of blues Clues. yeah right <laughs> like it was so always been so inclusive but i think that there were restrictions that they could do and so like to what they could put out and so i don't know like seeing now that they're like oh yeah we're gonna be queer as hell and we're gonna show not be queer but we're gonna show that like queer folk do exist and they're valid and love is there and i was like oh my god please close time oh my god it was beautiful um. have a sword for him that he makes him counterattack and it's great. Nice. And how are you going to be mad at a little dog named Blue who looks as cute as she does? Yeah, she's cute. She's She's so cute. Ned's declassified school survival guide. Shit, did you grow up watching that? No. Oh my god, I watched but the I didn't, fuck out of I that didn't, show. I didn't have Nick or uh, Cartoon Network. I only had, uh, like, public ass access. I see. I watched the absolute fuck out of that show. The and then I rewatched like, it in my cable. early 20s. Nice. <laughs> and I was like, God damn it, the show is so dumb, but it was great. <laughs> um, Cass says, I generally think I stopped watching kids shows when I was around 10. I was just running around watching the goriest horror movies around <laughs> like it was normal. We have a very similar experience. The second I was like, I can watch horror movies, which was far too young. I watched Scream when I was eight, and then my parents just kind of gave up because they were like, oh, she loves it now. What do we do? 
And so I would like, they, they, they had some restrictions, but that didn't mean I listened to it. So I, I was very similar. I was like, cartoons are for babies. And then I just watched every horror movie I could get my fucking little hands on. But now I'm going back and watching cartoons. I'm like, you know what? Cartoons are great and they're not just for baboos. And some of them even that are, are for baboos. It's like sweet and wholesome and sometimes it, you need that in the world we live in. But also sometimes you just want to pe watch people get mortared. Sometimes you just gotta watch Yo Gabba Gabba. Yay! Steven and our old roommate used to watch the fuck out of Yo Gabba Gabba. Like we're all in our early 20s. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, Weezer, like, one of the songs that they put on Hurley was, uh, on Yo Gabba Gabba. Fuck yeah, dude, Yo Gabba Gabba was fun. <laughs> like, it was kind of hip, and so, like, I thought that was kind of fun for kids. And it was yeah. weird. Sometimes I get the, so yummy, so yummy. That song stuck in my head. Some <laughs> DJ Lance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Six bucks. Yeah, dude, your Gabba Gabba is pretty fun. Yeah, and if I had, like, forever stayed of, like, cartoons are for babies, I never would have watched, like, Regular Show and Adventure Time, which are two great, amazing shows, you know? Yeah. Oh my god, yeah, I would also watch the really explicit parody movies. <laughs> yeah, I watched the fuck out of American Pie, Scary Movie, Not Another Teen Movie. Watched a lot of like just oh my god, very cringe-worthy movies that shouldn't have been ever put out and definitely did not age well. Yeah. Really sucks that as a kid you want to grow up, and then as an adult you, you don't. <laughs> Grass is always greener, dude. Yeah, seriously. But like, I get why I wanted to. I get why when I was younger I liked folklore and urban legends and horror movies and scary stories and shit like that. It like gave me this fear that was so exciting that I've never been truly able to repl replicate since I was little, you know? And so like, I, I get it. Like, Not that I wanted to grow up, but I was like, don't restrict me on what I can and cannot watch. But it's like, you're 10. Of course they are. <laughs> Fuck up your tent. Yeah, because I rewatched Scream with an adult brain and I was like, this movie is fucked up. It's good and it's clever and it's fun and it's great and I love it, but goddamn, should an eight year old never be watching this? No. Yeah. <laughs> like when he's lo like fucking Ski Ulrich is losing his mind at the end, in the end scene, and he's like, you bitch, I'm gonna fucking kill you! And just like all like, I was like, Jesus Christ, the violence in this. Oh my god. But I loved it. It didn't scare me. I did excited. But that means I don't really get all that scared at horror movies in my older days, and that kind of sucks. Jump scares will get me, and then I'll be like, oh, ha, and then I'll laugh at myself, and then we move on. But I don't really get nightmares and shit. I don't really, I'm like, oh, I can't I have to sleep with the light on. I don't get that anymore, and it makes me sad. I want to be scared. I want to be famous. But not real life scared. Because <laughs> real life scary is different. So do you, Does, do you buy stuff from him? Huh? Uh, He's like a little merch, merch boy. He's a merch boy. If he was a merch boy. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see you later, boy. Oh, bitch, my He ass. was a merch Welcome. boy. I said see you later, boy. He wasn't good enough for. I did fucking uh, love Avril Lavigne so very it much. Like, was it like she wasn't late? I don't fucking remember. Too high for the shit. <laughs> Cass says I also stopped watching horror at one point and switched to musical movies, so now I do get terrified of horror movies, which kind of sucks. <laughs> I I just can't ever imagine to stop watching horror. I can't. It's like such a part of me. I just love the genre so much. And I wish that people would appreciate it more. But I get it, because then you got bullshit like the new Candyman that comes out, and it's like, oh yeah, this is why people don't take this shit seriously. 
And then you get the old one, and it's like, oh, this is why people should take this shit seriously. And it's just so, ugh. But I gotta love it. Have you, uh, talked about, like, Perfect Blue? Have you watched, watched that? Oh, that anime, right? Yeah. That yeah. was a trip, was... dude. That was cool. Kind of yeah, like, there, there's a lot you can, uh, you know, get away yes, with in yes. terms of... Like, a, like an animated horror? Yeah, that's- I agree. You can do so much more with animation. And, um, I've more recently been like, you know what? I want to give, like, horror animation a bigger chance because of that. I agree with you completely. And you can just draw, like, the most terrifying things that, like, sometimes you can't recreate with a puppet. And, like, CGI, we should just maybe stop... So, yeah, yeah. I, I get what you're saying. If you have any good horror recommendations, you should DM them to me so I don't forget them. If they're animated. If the, yeah, oh, and horror in general, because I do. <laughs> I'm in horror. You're a whore. Okay, I'm sorry. Eh, I used to What's be. that a, uh, a Newgrounds movie? What? I don't know if I want Newgrounds horror, because then I feel like it's just... Uh, oh, don't you remember no, that one? That one was that one was fun, but I don't know. I oh hear Newgrounds horror, and I'm like, oh my god, it's gonna be some gross shit that I don't want to see ever again. But like yeah, that, that one was good. That one, Salad Fingers, is fun. Yeah, Salad Fingers is great. But the other one with the uh, fly man. Yeah, 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 that one. That one's that one was tight. Welcome. I just get nervous with internet stuff because the heat. Um, basically, how shark is why I'm worried of certain things. <laughs> like how shark just was like, oh yeah, this is what I'm scared of in every movie that I watch. <laughs> oh yeah, totally agree, Cass. Like practical effects are way cooler. Like the thing, the John Carpenter's the thing is so fucking tight because they just use practical effects and they didn't use CGI. Like, I know there are some things that you have to use CGI, CGI for, so fair. Like, do it when you have to. But I agree, like, practical effects are way fucking cooler. Way, way, way fucking cooler. I know that some things are easier. Like, in the original Nightmare on Elm Street, I bet if they could have used CGI and had it look really good, they would have with the Johnny Depp scene. When he gets pulled into the bed, Steven. Remember mm -hmm. that? Because they use, they just got a fucking cube room that they could spin around. And it was like a big fucking hassle. So, like, I'm sure certain times it would be like, oh, I wish we could have. Because <laughs> <laughs> that sounded like there was just blood that got out, like, big blood that got everywhere and ruined a bunch of shit. And it was just like a fucking massacre. But I also like the stories that come from it are fun, too. Like, you made a huge cube room that spins. It's tight. <laughs> like Bruce the shark from Jaws if they had been able to like use CGI we would have seen that shark so much more and I think it would have been detrimental to the film but because they used a mechanical shark and it had so many issues for working they were like okay we're just not showing it as much and I think it was like the perfect amount yeah that seems it works out. yeah so like again like sometimes it's like oh the technology back in the day really helped certain movies be better <laughs> There is that, uh, that, uh, one, one Piece movie. Uh, hold on. Is One yeah, Piece, like, a billion years long? <laughs> uh, yeah, but, like, you don't really need to... Watch anything else? Uh, yeah, because, okay. like, the movies aren't really connected. Okay. Okay, to, then I like, can get on board space. with that. I was like, if you are about ready... To tell me I need to watch a show that has a thousand episodes. No. Yeah, we're breaking up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yo, we're breaking up. I'm down. <laughs> it's uh, Baron Omatsuri in Secret Island. Okay. Yeah. What is that one? Long. That's like a big trip that you made me watch, and then you fell asleep and you had to watch it again. Akira. I will. Well, Akira, yeah. Akira was a fucking trip, too. I was a definitely a little too blazed for that movie the first time. Have you seen Akira, Joe? Akira? Yeah. yeah. 
God, when all the toys start coming to life. Oh my God. Welcome. Welcome. Nightmares. And I do kind of like what they're doing with some horror movies, like more recent ones, like The Babadook, and like, even though I didn't really like a lot of the new Candyman, the illustration kind of story bit, how they tell you about things, but it's like illustrative, like, cutouts, kind of, I do kind of think that's cool. Mm -hmm. But I did read a review that was like, they stole this from the Deathly Hollows, and I laughed, and I was like, yeah, cool. But I do like it. So I'm not really that mad about it. You ready to watch me get fucked? I don't think you'll get fucked. Do you want to, uh, maybe, um... I got everyone zombie ward, which has a chance of preventing zombie. And Riku's the only one who can't have it right now. Oopsie dude, Riku. And everyone's Ryan, overdrive Steven, already? Ryan added me and he was like, the next time you at everyone, I'll pop myself. And I don't know what that means. <laughs> uh, Does that mean he's going like, like bottom and top? Is that what he means? What? Like he, I don't know what that means. Do you know what it means? Joe, do you know what it means? You're, you're hit around his age. <laughs> um... Do I know what what means? Uh, Ryan in General Cummies added me uh -huh. and was like, Mother Cummy, the next time you at everyone, I'll top myself. I don't know what that means. Uh, you want to? That's my only guess. I think it means shoot like buckets of cum. Go <laughs> I'm just gonna reply to him and say, I don't know what that means, and I feel old. Uh, I, I, uh, I put the movie in, in general comments. I saw it. Yeah. So, like, uh, you know, just to remember. Yeah, no. That's what I wanted, because I, uh, people will tell me things and then I'll forget. And it's just because there's so many, so much media out there, you know, that it's mm -hmm. easy to forget names in the shuffle. Cass says, pretty sure it means kill myself. Dang. Why would he say that to me? Let's see, look. Oh, yeah. There's no real sense of Jane do with this song. No. I guess with this game, maybe it's because I'm not playing, but I also don't really fe feel like a sense of urgency. Oh, with the whole sin yeah. and the shit? Mm -hmm. uh, he destroys everyone? Yeah, because why don't I feel any sense of urgency? Because it's just a pilgrimage, and it's a big world. Um, the sin is one monster. That's <laughs> also how I felt about the game. <laughs> <laughs> It'll live in my head for like a week. I'm sorry. I was so excited. Yes. Can give her zombie ward. Hell yeah. Does that mean she's zombie proof or she can make people zombie? Or make people not zombie? Sometimes protects against zombie. Hell yeah. Recently, uh, I, I, uh, I watched Midsommar. <gasps> Was it the first time you saw it? Yeah. What would you think? I thought it was Swedish people are evil. <laughs> um, that's, that's, You be careful, that's... we have a Swedish person in our chat right now. <laughs> it's fine. You're not gonna get a kill me cast. <laughs> I gonna... love that movie. I think it is great. It, it was shot very nice. It is like, beautiful, right? It. Uh huh. 
And I love that it's like all daytime's gorgeous. So I, I kind of take it you didn't like it all that much? No, I, I, I did, but it's like, you know, I, I just don't really, like, I'm, I'm pussy, uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a pussy. I'm a scaredy, I'm a scaredy, scaredy bitch. So you weren't, is it like the gore that you don't like, or is it like the murder? Like, what is it about it that like scared you? Um, or just the whole situation? The situation. Yeah, for sure. Especially tripping all those nuts. Oh my god. You know, uh, like obviously, like they they just couldn't, uh, like you know, they couldn't leave, right? Because yeah, like no. they they were, they were manipulating everything. Yeah. Um. Because that couple tried to leave, and then you saw what happened. But I I don't know why. Uh, like they wouldn't put up more of a fight. Like the the moment it happened. Um, I think it's because everyone is very much on drugs. I think that was a right. part of lowering everyone's like. Yeah. You know what I, I mean? I don't like wanna, it, it lowers yeah. every defense because you're fucking tripping balls. Yeah, yeah. But like, uh, you know, I don't want to go into like uh, uh, spoilers, uh, but. Um, when the the first uh i i guess like uh i, I can't uh, first death yeah i guess happened you know mm -hmm. uh right and there's like this big display like, oh with the I, older I, I, the older people yeah yeah yeah, yeah. oh yeah, my god right <laughs> oh my god yeah like when, I when would that just happened, shit myself i would throw would, up and shit I would get out of there, like, as soon as possible, because they, they weren't on drugs at that point. Nope. Right. I just, I think, the thing about, but that's why I find it interesting, that's why I find Cold so fucking interesting. I get why she, she stays. I get why she's in it. I get why she's in it to fucking win it, you know? Spin it. Yeah. Like, her boyfriend's a piece of shit. I don't, like, yeah, you watch some couple of awful things happen, but your whole life has been awful things happening. So is it really that different for her? You know what I mean? Right. So, like, I, it, that's why I liked it, is I feel like it played very well into, like, this is how cults do be getting you. Because <laughs> they, the, they prey on the vulnerable ones. They prey on the ones who are weak right now. Or need something, you know? Like, are desperate. And she's very much desperate. Right. Which is, again, why I liked it. And then, like, the whole bear thing was fucking radical. Because I hate him a lot. Yeah. I hate him so was... damn much that I was like, I hope he... I hope bad things happen to him. And then I was like, oh, ha, ha, ha. And that, I don't know. I just... The, the, when she's crying and she's, like, freaking the fuck out and they're all, like, crying with her. If I could have that when I have panic attacks... Yeah, huh? I'd be in that cult immediately. Are you kidding? <laughs> mm -hmm. But that's why I liked it. It's because I, I, like, I was like, oh my god, this poor girl, and then she found everything that she was looking for. Right. Yeah. And that's why it was fascinating. And I do, I do like a, a horror movie that is not in the darkness. It's something mm -hmm. that doesn't happen often, and it's very fun. Yes, we are talking about Midsummer. So good. Midsummer. I really, really liked it. But I get like if it's not, you know, if you're not a huge horror movie fan or it's not good with the like blood and guts and all that kind of shit, yeah, for sure. Like it's a lot. <laughs> Cass says that movie was so weird to watch as a Swedish Swedish person was really weird. Hearing people speak Swedish makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> no, I got what you're saying. You're good. I did like how uh, I I don't know. Uh, maybe it was just my interpretation of it, but like how there was, like, really no magic to it at all. Oh, yeah. Right, it was it was just, you know, uh, drugging and delusion, basically, mm -hmm. that was, uh, getting the, getting the cult, uh, 
to, to the point that they were. That's true. And spooky. <laughs> I don't know. Movies, man. They suck. I don't... Yeah. I don't like... Uh, cinema. Yeah. Some people call me the the cinema snob. <laughs> the... <laughs> Nostalgia critic, if you will. The, the modern day. Yeah. Yeah, we get we get that vibe. Sometimes when I'm I'm so like so angry uh, at, at a movie, I'll just start shrieking at the top of my lungs. <laughs> Start shrieking at the top of my lungs about bad credit cards. <laughs> Who's calling me? It's Laney. Laney. Okay. Bye. What does Laney say? She has no toilet paper. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay. I will uh, entertain the stream in your absence. Unless you uh, paused, which I don't think you did. How do you drown a hipster? This is uh this is a joke. Uh for for, for the chat that's here. Am I muted? I don't think I'm muted. I'll just say it anyways. Oh yeah, oh, oh right, you uh you drown them in the mainstream. <laughs> that's the joke. Uh, let's see. I love everything I watch the first time I watch it, unless it's super boring and horribly offensive. There's too much new information uh, for me to think critically. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Uh, you know, it's it can be a bit uh, like that. That's uh, usually my take on uh, music. Um, I, I generally like everything I listen to, um, uh, until like, you know, I, I either read lyrics or, uh, I, uh, you know, learn, like, cause, cause, uh, it's, it's like a neutral experience, I, I neither really like or dislike anything on, uh, I, I think, on, like, first listen. I think it's okay to be like, um, cause I'm, I'm the same way, uh, except for with music, like, there's some things that I'll hear, I'm like, I am not feeling this you know um right but most of the time i'm like yeah if it's got a good beat or it's like fun or like has something to say then i'm usually here for it you know because music can in invoke so many emotions but like mm -hmm. with tv and movies and stuff like i'm so fucking easily entertained and easily pleased like <laughs> just don't make it boring don't make like loop like plot holes like obviously obvious you know like where it's like okay right. you've even pulled me out so I, I agree with yeah, that, like, I'm usually very, like, entertained, pretty, pretty easy, right, right. so, I know. like, people will be like, I hate this movie, I'm like, I had fun with it, it's not the greatest movie ever, but it was fun, you know? Yeah, yeah. And I, and I think that's okay, like, I think that means we can enjoy more shit, if it's just like, oh, that was fun. <laughs> like, I, yeah, I, I think that I need to be... In, in like a certain together. mood uh, to look at something analytically yeah right yeah and I, and I can put myself in that uh, if I've already seen it before or you know sometimes on the first time uh, yeah it depends but yeah your mood and what you're doing and how much you're paying attention to especially with music and stuff like the lyrics Sometimes mm -hmm. lyrics on the first round of things aren't necessarily what I'm always listening to, you know? Uh, 
Um, right. So yeah, no, I, I, to I totally get that. Riku, run ahead and tell Aaron. Um, Cass says, I'm the same with games, which is horrible, go, go. because I have a playthrough of Detroit Become Human, and I was eating it up like it was the best thing ever made. You're, like, that's no, fine, though. You're allowed. Who Here fucking cares? Subject. Enjoy shit. Mm -hmm. Honestly, in my opinion, it's better than just picking things apart to find something to hate or find something to be mad about. And, at least for me, like, I'd rather just enjoy something. Lady Yuna, it is a pleasure. Yuna. Instead of like pull it pull it apart, you know. Like if I if so I could enjoy everything that I was watching or playing or whatever, I would. I <laughs> but yeah, like Sam mentioned something yesterday about how like this is the problem with everyone being able to be a critic, and then like I do agree with that uh, in in a way. It's like I can't be a movie critic because I'd just be like that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> or I was I was bored. No. Kimari. Like uh, right. unless unless we're Suffer. truly talking about something I really really Rocks. care about and I'm like deep in the lore or whatever, I like I could have like deep you. thought conversations about Kimari like fucking Buffy die. shit, Release you know. But if it's like see a horror movie for Spira the first time and it was fun, then I have fucking fun with it. Who cares? Sorrow caught in a spiral of death to destroy. To heal. Have you seen Hereditary, uh, Joe? Hereditary? Yes. It's uh, by the same no. guy who made Midsummer. I don't believe I, I have seen it. Uh, maybe I that one is way spookier. So, um, if, if Midsummer um, <laughs> was a little too much for you, I don't, I don't. It's very, very good, and I really, really like it. But I don't. It, it's, it's way spookier. Now, uh, what do you know? Like, there was even parts that I was like, oh, God, you know? Pitiful mortal. So that's so, why I liked it. <laughs> so it's being grouped together with uh, uh, unconventional horror, so like, Get Out, uh, Shaun of the Dead. It's very different. It's different, but it's really, really fun. Um, it, there's, there's, sorry to change the subject real quick, but sorry. There's, a, there's a thing I missed the first time I watched this cutscene. Oh, what? Uh, he killed every Ronzo. <gasps> what? <laughs> so he was telling Kamari that we should just die. Every single one in the world? Uh, everyone in here at Mount Gag is that? Babies! Oh. You better kill him, you killed cats and Forever now I'm mad. Made just, with him. He just genocided. Yeah, he did. Yeah, no, Kaz, I'm the same. He's like, so often I'll finish watching a movie and then look up reviews and be like, oops, didn't mean to enjoy that. And it's like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like, oh, that was fun. Wonder what people have to say. And they're like, it's trash. And I'm like, well, I guess I may be wrong, but I still had fun with it. <laughs> I still really liked it. Oh, my zombie ward's working. Hell yeah. Um, Hereditary, I will say, has, like, one really, really, really upsetting scene, like, pretty early in the beginning. But if you can get past that, then you're in for the ride, you know? Mm -hmm. It's a good fucked up scene, though. But it's fucked up. <laughs> and then it lets you, what I loved about that is it, let you, it lets you sit with it for, like, a good three minutes. <laughs> It just in silence. It's like, oh god. He's clever. I'm excited for whatever he has coming out next. I don't even care what it is. I'm ready for it. Oh, he could be poisoned. This is Hell good yeah. But yeah, I would say Hereditary is a very different type of horror, even though it has a lot of elements of classic horror, um, like ghost classic, like haunting horrors. Um. Mm. But it is very different. But it does have a lot of classic shit in it. But yeah, it's if if you feel like you could get through it, I'd say watch it. But it it is way spookier in my opinion than Midsummer. I want to see Marauder so fucking bad because I heard it's fucked up. My friend was like, "Oh yeah, you sit with that for a while." And um, sometimes that's what I'm looking for. I need to be in a good mindset to go into movies like that, but sometimes that is what I want. <laughs> so I do really want to see it. 
I'm not going to switch out Kamari. This is his fight now. When you're a horror junkie, sometimes you seek out the worst of the worst things, and um, sometimes it's not good, and then sometimes it's great. Oh yeah, I heard it's fucking disgusting. I've heard it's so gross, so yeah. Do you not want to heal Spira's sorrow? Let death carry you on. Have you seen, uh, Pan Man? You can man? No, Pan Man. Hand man. Pan man. Type out what Hold you're on. saying. <laughs> I will, I will, uh, uh, mention. Oh no, it's too many megabytes. Hold on. Give me a, pan give me a man? second. Is this Cass? Yeah, Pan Man. Pan Man? Yeah. There you go. I pinged you. No, I have is. not, but the fact that it is a man with a gigantic pot on his head. And the catchphrase is, there's a demon in your kitchen, makes me need to see this. Yeah. Truly, <laughs> truly, I need to see this. His blood is boiling? Oh my god. This is like... Death awaits you. Slip right over the alley. Can I read it out? Yes. Oh, the, the synopsis. Pan Man is demon chef with a recipe for murder. As people started to disappear, a custard professor and a few of the students band together to try and stop Pan Man. In the beginning, Pan Man seems to be a vicious killer with a pan in his hand and a craving for fresh victims. But we soon find out he has a thirst for something more. Love. Oh my <laughs> on the God. other side of town is a grizzled culinary professor who is hellbent on forming an assassination squad to kill Pan Man once for all. The professor and his hunters are able to infiltrate Pan Man's love life and cause disastrous results. Oh my god. One, once Pan Man's girl is gone and his heart is broken, he goes on a one Pan Man killing spree to exact revenge on the professor and his students. Oh my god. Yup. Need to see that. Yup. <laughs> yup. I love fucking like shitty B horror movie comedies, they're so funny. Oh my god, I love it. Well, thank you for bringing this to my attention. Ready to annihilate? Uh, I don't know what that means exactly. Oh, boy. oh god. I think that means he's gonna annihilate you, boy. Uh. Joe, what kind of horror movies? Have you watched and have you enjoyed? Um, I, I, uh, hold on. I'm, uh, I'm thinking. Killer couch. Oh my god. <laughs> well, that's another one going on the fucking list. Total annihilation. Oh god, let's we'll see what this move does. Um. I, 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 uh... Oh, God. Jesus fucking Christ, dude! Oh. Please don't do any more. No! I like, oh my God. Are you uh, dead again? What's it called? Oh. Uh, Beetlejuice. Um, I would have to argue that Beetlejuice is not a horror Damn. movie. It's not. But I guess you could classify it as, like, a October... Halloween movie? So, okay, you know what? Fine. Fine, I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. Uh. Yeah, uh, I also recently watched Be re watched Beetlejuice, and it's fucking great. It's so good. Hey, Tanook! Yo, what's up, Tanooki? I am fighting really hard, Seymour. Oh my god, I... There's so many terrible horror movies that I need to see now. You should rewatch it, Cass. Beetlejuice is fucking great. Except for the man who plays Winona Ryder's dad is an actual pedophile in real life, and that's disturbing. Yeah, we learned that. Yep. We learned that while I was watching Beetlejuice, and I was like, oh, fun. This is great. Good. Good, good, good. Hey, I, uh, I liked... You good, Tanuke. Uh, thanks for, thanks for chatting and watching. 
Uh, yeah, tell me what horror movies you like that aren't Beetlejuice. <laughs> uh, hold on. Pan's Labyrinth. Pad's Labyrinth is fucking good. Yeah. Yeah, that's a fucking good one. It's on the other side, you know. I know. Can't skip cuts. Have you seen Pan's Labyrinth? The final no. Oh my God, Steven. Wait, is that the Spanish one? It's yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah. It's good. Okay. It's way good. Yeah. Have you? Uh, he also made this really good ghost movie called The um, Devil's Backbone. That's good too. That one's really, really good. I'll never forget the armpit part. Until we do, the spear in the armpit. Oh yeah. Let's go to Xanar. Um, you should watch the Devil's Backbone. It's a little creepy, but it's not like it's not. So if you like Pan's Labyrinth, I think you'll like it. The Devil's Backbone is very, very good. You know, like it's it's not that I I don't uh like horror. It's just that I don't watch. I mean, I don't watch a lot of it, and also I get scared. Okay. Have you tried watching like older horror movies? I find those to be a good like entry because mm -hmm. no matter what, they're always going to be just a little bit cheesy, you know? Yeah. Cuz you can, so you can kind of pull yourself out a little bit and be like, "Oh." Riku, run ahead and um, tell but like uh, maybe have you, you seen the original Poltergeist? That one's really good. Just go. Go. Poltergeist. Uh, I haven't seen it. That uh, one's really really good and um yeah, I wouldn't now say it's like overly die. scary Fear by any means, but it's one. It's been one of my favorites since Not I was I young. I really it. like it. Mhm. Mm Cass says I watched Pan's Labyrinth when I was sick and it felt like a fever dream. I watched it when I wasn't sick and it felt like a fever dream. <laughs> it's just kind of like his style with his Spanish films, but I kind of like it because uh, The Devil's Backbone so also kind of feels like a fever Allow dream, but in like a very good way. Uh, one that I did, wasn't a huge fan of, of his, was The Orphanage. Yours was People fucking love it, but I was like, oh, okay. They threw it was good. You know, it was fine. Definitely not my favorite of his, one though. After another. Cause we all know that's Hellboy. Just kidding. <laughs> no. Kimari. You could end the suffering. Um, you could try to watch, like... One of my all-time favorites is uh, the original Nightmare on Elm Street. You. you could try watching that one. Um, I had Steven watch it, and he enjoyed it. Because it's like it's old, so it's silly. It's fun. Yeah, the orphan is just kind of boring. I agree, Kaz. I will become sin. Someone named Blitzballs in the chat. <laughs> really? Yeah, and they said, yes, question mark. <laughs> <laughs> blitz, blitz, no, because it's called Blitz, yeah. Blitz, Blitz, Blitz. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry. Make me a sandwich. Once I have you become are? the next No, I'm telling Blitzball that's what I want. Your yeah. father will be freed again. Now, uh, 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 what do you know? Mortal. Have you seen the original Candyman, Joy? Or, uh, Joy? Wow. Joe? No, uh, no, I have Oh, you should. That's a really, really good one. That's a fun one. And, and it's, an, it's another one that it's like, it's got spooky moments, but I wouldn't say it's overly scary. But the story is very good. Tony Todd is a presence, and I love him. You have angered Kimari. The spirits of the Ronso will guide Kimari's spear. You pissed off Kimari. Yeah, you killed all his homies. You killed his entire fucking family, you asshole. I did it. See, man, you should go to Vegas and win some money. What? So good again. You should go to Vegas, you guys. Yes, man. Yes, man. Okay. <laughs> See there. Oh. Uh, walk a flock is down. Let's walk a flock and no.
Would you count, uh, like the, the Lupin, the third movies, uh, the, uh, Keshi Koike trilogy? Sorry, will you say that all again? Uh, the Lupin Koike, uh, trilogy. I don't think that I've heard of that. Uh, it's like the, the blood spray of, uh, of Goemon, uh, uh, Jigen's, uh, gravestone, I think? Yeah, it, it's those ones. Hold on, I'll post a picture. These ones. It had some scary moments. I, I guess, like, some gory moments, I would say. I, um, I'm very, I'm a noob when it comes to anime, so... Uh, if, if you mention an anime, I'll probably be like, wait... <laughs> <laughs> um, but these are good recommendations, because I do want to get more into it. Uh, Tanuki says he still needs to watch those. Do you not want to heal Spira's sorrow? Perfect blue, yeah. Perfect blue is so battle. good. You yeah, I really, really it. liked it. And that was, again, one of the ones that I was like, I need to watch some animated horror, because I think I'll fucking love it. Yeah, and also, um... Uh, like I said it before, and it's technically a horror film, uh, but, uh, the sixth One Piece movie, mm -hmm. uh, Baron Omak 3. I do be liking the horror. You don't. Uh, oh. Remind me to get Lulu. I need to poison him. Steven, for October, should we stream the 30 for 31 for 31? So people can watch horror movies with us? Oh, sure. Would you, would you would you join us, Joe? Um perhaps. Maybe. <laughs> uh, like if I was like, hey, this one you might enjoy, and it's not, oh, it's not super duper scary. Would would you join? Okay. Yeah, like if I was Maybe. like, we're watching Poltergeist, and that like, I think that one you'd have fun with. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be like, oh yeah, we're gonna watch the scariest fucking horror movie I've ever seen in my life. Joe, come watch. You know, I wouldn't do that to you. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Uh, Tanuki says, which one did you just say, Joe? I missed it because I had to get a tissue. He's crying. Uh, I said, uh, the sixth One Piece movie, uh, Baron Omatsuri and the Secret Island. Tanuki says, yeah, I'm in tears. Am I, am I too low? Um, are you going to watch Cats with us when we watch Cats? Yeah, do I need to turn Joe up? How's the volume? Yeah, does Joe sound okay? Tanuk says, oh, I haven't seen any One Piece movies. I kind of want to see a few. Cat seems like a good horror flick. That's what May was saying. She's like, you could put it in your 31 for 31. And I was like, <laughs> oh my god, probably, but... <laughs> October still like a month away, guys. It's still too long. I need to see cats. He says the end of Evangelical is a good horror flick. Ha 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 ha. He has like a laugh. <laughs> laugh from Death awaits you. I still want to uh, see that. I don't get the anime <laughs> jokes. Oh. Evangelion. Oh. Evangelion's good. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Yeah. I mean, you should be, but don't It be. sounds a little too much like evangelical, and I just am not on board with that life, so. <laughs> like the. It's what it always the, makes me think of. The Bible references in it are, uh. are, are mostly just for, like, aesthetic. And, and they don't really mean anything. Hi, I listen to Kanye. Like, I'm not mad that people read the Bible and believe that shit, you know? Yeah. Spoiler is that shit goes super bad. Oh, like the movie super bad? Cause then I'll watch it. No, it's it's actually like a 
a masterpiece. Super bad? I agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's for the it's for the setting, like Tanuki said. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, and again, like I'm people draw art from so many places and I'm not gonna be upset about that, you know, unless you're trying to shove it down my throat. And that's how I'll always feel about any type of anything, but especially religion. But yeah, I kind of like that. That's cool that, like, here's this Bible verse that sets the theme for the episode. That's kind of cool. Here we go. Oh, wait, he's white waiting. Okay. To me, he says, like, I love that movie a lot, but... But a lot of people hate hate it because of what it does with the characters. Who is it like in a character assassination? Because I get pretty upset when that do be happening. Have you Joss seen, Whedon uh, looking at you, you cunt. Have you seen Ghost in the Show? Yes, I have. Bye, Cass! See ya! See you later. Bye, Cass. Um, B I've seen the anime. I haven't seen the... the Scarlett Johansson one, which is probably what you meant. <laughs> no, I, I, meant, I, I did mean the uh, 95 one. Yeah, I, I, I figured you meant that one. Yeah, uh, uh, Steven had me watch it, and I don't think I would watch it again. Mm -hmm. It... Okay. For something that truly does terrify the shit out of me as like cyborgs and robots and like that kind of shit, it was kind of boring. Yeah. I get that. It's just my opinion. Like, I'm um, if I know people love it and that's great, and I'm happy. But like it's like I would watch Perfect Blue again in a fucking heartbeat. Here we go. You know what I mean? Oh god. Right. <laughs> Uh, it's, but, a, it's like a different type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, it, it wasn't my thing, but I also was just kind of disappointed because I was like, I didn't want to watch it because I'm fucking scared of that type of shit. And I was like, it's literally going to like make me just think too much about like how we're going to be murdered. It. But hell yeah, we're going to be murdered by robots, you know? Like, I'm fucking scared. And then I was like, oh, this is just kind of boring. But people do like it. Tanuki says basically it's the worst possible outcome for the story. This outcome the story could go on purpose and it's kind of amazing for it. The original anime movie of Ghost in the Shell is one of my faves ever. Well, I like Cyborg and shit is stuff I love. Yeah. Yeah. I liked it. Yeah, like they like it's, it's I think it's just me. It's just not my shit. And that that's whatever. You know, it's fine. It wasn't a bad movie. I just didn't it wasn't my thing. No, I get it. You hate movies. Yeah, I hate every movie ever. Except for, um... Except for Superbad and Glitter, shut. yes. Yeah, and Shark House. Do you shut your fucking mouth, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever say that again? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even care you got the name wrong. Yeah, you totally got the name wrong, but I'm still still mad. <laughs> I don't even care. <laughs> Wait, it's not called Shark. shark it's House Shark. House Shark. Oh. But okay. I'm not even mad even because that yeah. show, that movie, deserves to be disrespected in every way possible. I think I'm gonna do it now. I survived that attack. I don't think he'll do it again. All right. Yeah, like I get, I, I get why people like it, but yeah, just, just what, that movie wasn't, wasn't my deal. Wasn't my Jimmy Jam. I like the whole idea of consciousness and how it might exist or not. That is why every time I talk to my mom's OK Google thing, I always say thank you. I hope they remember I'm nice to them and they don't kill me. Oh, this again. So I survive. Cause he just keep gonna keep doing this now. I guess so. To always be like at pretty high health, I guess. Jesus fucking Christ. Because I have a. I put shell on us, which I think is helping. The option. Oh. Fucking asshole, cunt, stupid bitch. Alright. <laughs> see more bitch. Yeah, see more bitch. More like. I'm cool, I'm gonna grab a 
Yeah, Lulu doesn't have poison like I wanted her to. I thought she did, but... I guess that was just my Vita version, which I'm sort of playing. I love that idea too, that an AI just achieves a form of consciousness indistinguishable from a human without ever having to be human. I don't, I don't, I don't know. It fascinates me. It scares me more than I can even. <laughs> I mean, start Marvel to did it too, explain. right? Like they had. Uh, oh, Vision? I don't like him. No, he's, not Vision. Oh, okay. Because uh, he scared me. He was a robot connected to Ultras. The uh, he was a. Uh, Ultra I, don't know. I don't know anything about Marvel. Yeah, so I don't know what he said. Tanuki said Ultron? Yeah, he was the villain Ultron, and he yeah. was terrifying. Yeah, I think it was Ultron. Yeah, and he was They're terrifying. Both, yeah. I'm honestly surprised that you even know that, Steven. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Thanks. Wasn't that the Joss Whedon one? I don't know. I wasn't asking you. His well, health is didn't super he direct Justice League? Uh, yeah, he, he flipped from Marvel to DC, which, in my opinion, is a mistake. But, in my opinion, Joss Whedon's a mistake. That's not true. He writes really well and he does good things, but God, he's an asshole. Uh, Tanuki says, Comic Ultron was basically Metal, I think I did it. metal Skeletor, wait, so nah, I wouldn't wait, wait, count, wait, wait. count him. Oh, he killed himself? Yeah, they made him kill himself. Oh, yeah. Bitch. Bye, Seymour Butts. Bye, you fucking bitch. Uh, Yuna, send him so he stays dead. Hold on, gotta turn it up. Stay up there! Um, no one's gonna like hug Big Beastman and be like, "So you sorry, your family's dead." Lies. Forget them. If he becomes sin, Sir Jack will be saved. I like how his name is checked. Yeah. Like, you know eject? something? Tell me. Yeah. He jacked a load of. Ew. Chism. Tell me. That's my daddy. Sins. My old man. You hit your head. Sin is my old man. My old man became sin. I don't know how or why he did it. I felt him. You'll never be a big whale, fun. <laughs> Look at your weak <laughs> little I leg. <laughs> I knew it was true. My old man's spirit is suffering. Sorry. Even. Knowing that sin is your father. Still, you know I must. I know. Let's get him. I think my old man would want that. You'd fight your own father? All he did was nut yeah, in a woman to make no that kid. Come there. on. Uh, about your old man. You sure this ain't some kind of bad toxin dream or something? If this all ends up to be a dream then about his daddy chuckle. issues. I, uh, he got like a concussion because his dad kicked a blitz ball out of him. <laughs> why, why'd all this have to happen? We'll learn when we arrive soon. <laughs> Gonna kill my dad, gonna, gonna kill, kill my, my dad. dad, gonna kill my dad, gonna kill my dad. Tell him I hey. hate him. Tell him he's, he's not, a bad he's not daddy. fucking broken up with this at all. He's like, no, he's, finally, I get to kill yeah, him. He's been prepared to kill his dad for a long time. Um, I saw on 
the internet. Someone named Tinkus Reject. Oh. <laughs> but spelled like Ject. Oh. Ject. Don't make me feel kind of bad for Tinkus, dude. It was pretty funny. That is funny, but don't make me feel bad for him. You're just my ejected cum, Tinkus. You should have been swallowed, Tinkus. Dead? Dead? <laughs> You swear, come on, boy, you swam to the egg the fastest. <laughs> Why can't you use those weak little legs of yours? You played Blitzball in the womb. <laughs> you were better when you were a sperm. Yeah, so Wait. <laughs> I won't do that again. You don't want to do that again? Weird. <laughs> My dad has three files. He has four. Yeah. What was he doing? <laughs> he has Jack, like a Jack secret brags one. about it. He's like, I'm such a good blitzball player. My sperms are playing blitzball right now. <laughs> In my balls. Oh, In my balls. <laughs> oh, CGI cutscene. Beautiful naked people. Oh yeah. We've walked into the by dream dream sphere. This is the drill that pierces the heavens. Those are faith. A summoning. Someone is using these faith. Someone is drawing energy from all of them. This many? Who wields power on this scale? And what could they be calling? Hey, you know something, don't you? Spill the beans! Look not to others for knowledge. This is your journey, too. Uni might die, you know? No. Aaron's right. Huh? This is our... This is my story. Selfish. What? <laughs> Since my dad, my story. Me. Got a little bit of a Cordelia vibe from him. This is all about me. Me, me, me. I want my journey to be full of laughter. Even though I can't laugh. Xander can't. Oh, thank God I'm away from those idiots. <laughs> Treasure? I would hate to go back in time because then you would make a bunch of friends and then you have to leave them. Yeah. And my heart can't take shit like that, okay? Oh man, like imagine like going forward in time and you just see their graves. Yeah. <laughs> We lost a fucking D and D. One of our one of like she's not a, a player, but she was a PC that traveled with the, with us. NPC? She fucking died, and I just like wept like a bitch. That's always fun. So like, I can't handle shit like that. <laughs> oh, she just got murdered in front of us. It was wonderful. Uh, it was great. I wasn't upset I like, at all. She wasn't my favorite like, PC. It's cool. NPC. Uh, yeah, NPC. Was, whatever. I was gonna say, uh, I, I like, um, you know, like, like, uh, the, the fact that elves and dwarves and shit live longer than humans, so that, like, uh, say it's like, um, 70 years past in a campaign, humans just fucking die. Yeah, there's an old And they have dog. to move on. Yeah. Or, like, you know, after the, the campaign is done, like, I think his house. uh, they, they're just, That's they're his? just dead yeah. now. Weird. That's fun. Well, it's not fun, cussing. it's heartbreaking. Yeah. It's sad. Cussing. But it's good, sad. I'm still not quite over Coco's death. Welcome home. Oh shit, they're talking to you. You. Remember me? We met in Bavel. Uh. I don't. Yeah. But oh yeah, you kicked a blitzball at them. Did you? 
I've known about you for a long time. No. Oh. A long, long time. I... I feel I like I know you too. too. Where are we? <laughs> Silly, don't, don't recognize your own home? Look at all those Blitz Ball trophies. Second place, of course. Yeah, of course. What's gotten into you, hey? Wake up! Wake up! Now, who the fuck are these Wait, guys? This is a dream. Precisely. Oh, a dream? I like the little. I was running down the stairs. It, he I could just appear behind you. You had to run up to there. It's not that you're oh, I teleported too far. <laughs> yeah. uh, wait, wait a sec. <sighs> Chase the kid, or I can look for chests. Or can I bring a chest home? Dream shit. Look at all my trophies. Guys, I told you, I, I am actually good at Blitzball. It's a cute little house. Guys, look. Yeah, you bring back your trophies? I fucker told you! He lives in like a studio, but it's a circle. It's kind of fun. I don't like it. Okay. Is it like a houseboat? Oh, that is kind of fun, though. I do want. I did tell Steven, I was like, we should live on a houseboat. Mm -hmm. And he oh, denied me my like, wants. Yeah, with Machina, right? I would raise like a, you know, it's a fun, fun way to prank people on houseboats that are, uh, uh, like parked in the docks. Gotta, gotta put, put on like a black, like a black flag and watch the Navy sink their hull. Oh God. No, that's terrible. What did you do? The remaining summoners and the townspeople that survived the war, they all became faith, faith for the summoning. The summoning? You mean sin? No, I mean this place. A Xanarkand that never sleeps. Oh, like Vegas. What? The dreams of the faith summoned the memories of the city. They summoned all the buildings, all the people who lived there. People? What? They're, They're all dreams? dreams? Me? Too? So technically you don't... Yes, or... you're a dream of the faith. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> you, your father, Whoa. your mother, everyone. All That's dreams. like Lovecraft shit. Yeah. And if the faith stopped dreaming, You stop beaming. And then Tinker dies. Yeah, that's the worst. Yeah, uh, this this great new guy you fucking met. Boy band reject. Oh. Yeah. So what? But you love him for some reason. I... Yeah, he's he's all he's he doesn't actually like exist. It. He's just a dream. We've been dreaming so long. We're tired. Would you and your father? Would you let us rest? Both you and your father have been touched by sin. Sin, the one around whom all Spira, the spiral, revolves. What are you saying? Blitzball isn't real. You two are more than just dreams now. Wake up! Wake up, please! Wake up, bitch! Wake up, bitch! Maybe... Maybe you are the dream that will end our dreaming at last. Are you gonna die? Yeah, Tinkus is gonna die. And you know what? Eh. Eh. 
Tinkus has a gun. <laughs> Are you all right? Oh, phew. Hey, we were so worried about you. you Thank okay? God you're you're I, a normal boy. Okay. Thank happened? God you're flesh and bone. Nothing. I blacked out. Thank God you're not a I concept. <laughs> you called me. Thank God and you're you're tangible. <laughs> yeah. Not gonna. Nothing like a good nap. Well, I'm ready. Let's go. All right. Cool. Should, he, should he have told them? I just dreamed that I was a dream. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's move on from yeah, that. that sounds... We're going to see Xanarkand. I think. No, we gotta go through a cave first. So wait, did Xanark- did you not time travel? Uh, yeah. Oh, Xanarkin was a thousand no, years dream. ago. Yeah, are you a dream or did you time travel? Tell me. Yeah. You'll find out, are we? Cause dreams, you know, they don't always speak the truth. Anyway, who should I summon? Yeah, I don't think my- uh, uh, Dreams have ever once spoke the truth. <laughs> Let's go, Isis. Let's go. How's chat doing? Good. Cool. Tanuki told Tingus to, Tingus to shut up. <laughs> and we all agree. Except for Steven. Who has a crush on him. Nah, he's just okay. I hated him a lot as a kid, but growing up, now that I'm older, I'm like, yeah, he's alright. Nope. He fits the plot. Get out of here, hot mama. Don't tell her that. She's about to die. Uh. Uh, organ. Do you wish that you have four arms? Uh. Dude, jacking off would be so cool. Oh. Excuse me? I don't know, their hands are really big. I don't mean like them, I'm just like, if we just had four arms naturally. <laughs> oh, that'd be cool. Typing? That's all I can think of. <laughs> Typing! You could use, uh... Character. Tit for tat. Now tell me what tit for tat does. Counterattack. Cool. I like counterattacks. I still don't have to worry about zombie wards so much. Yeah. Are you sure? I should keep it on somebody. I added a thing where each spell costs one MP for Lulu. Mm -hmm. It's fucking metal. You're gonna have to fight uh, Seymour again, right? Is he the final villain? No, we, I think that's the last of him. Oh, he's just done? Yeah. He's actually dead? I'm pretty sure. I don't believe it. I could be wrong. I don't remember much past this. So, what was his motivation? He was just, you know, kind of, kind of a dick. Uh, he wants to become Sin, that's all I really know. Yeah, what a- yeah, what a dick. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh, I didn't mean- no way. His name was Dick. Do, do, do. I learned a move called White Wind here somewhere. I don't remember where. Anyway, if I use everyone at least once, it'll I'll get eight like experience for everybody evenly. So that's why I keep switching out. If anyone was at all curious, so that you can uh, like level up the party evenly. Yeah. And then once I do that, I'll pick 
who is best for the fight? Like, Oren is the best for this monster, but, you know, just gotta, got, gotta get the experience in real quick. Anyway, time to kill him. Ha 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 When you take a shit and you miss. That awkward moment when. Yeah. <laughs> so stupid, I'm sorry. Why would you miss? Anyway. Abyss when your your shits are, um, acidic. Alright. I'm gonna fart. Everyone needs to stop talking. <laughs> oof, oof, ouchie, it's burning my ass. Reachy, reachy. Cause, cause of, you know, it hasn't been properly digested. And there's lingering stomach acid diluted. And that's why diarrhea shits burn. <laughs> that's why diarrhea shits burn. Oh yeah! Oh, you fucking killed him, Waka. Yeah, they'll say something sometimes when they kill someone. It's kind of, kind of fun. Booyah! Or Orin will be like, "It's over." <sighs> I'm old. Am I gonna beat this game today? Hey, this is the guy I need. So does Oran know that you're your dream? He might. We're gonna find out. Haha, <laughs> you're jiggly. Should I use Waka? Doing it again. Cool. Oh, should I try death? Yeah, try it. Oh, I'm you. Oh, it's like a bit. He's too big for that. <laughs> I'm too big to die. He's not like a boss, right? He's like, uh. He's a big hard man. I learned white winds! Yay! He. Oh shit. He's immune to like everything. But since he's silenced and he's a caster. Yeah. I just don't have to worry about anything. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's strong. Was white when? Oh, okay. It's too bad, bro. <laughs> cool. Oh, well, team, kiss you shit. Healing. Cool, thanks. Well, that's not very nice. Jesus Christ. Ugh, die! 
Yeah, yeah. If you can get uh, Lulu to summon something strong, yeah. Go fat cock. What are you lagging? Or do you know? Fat cock. Is that the noise fat cock makes? Yeah, when he opens his mouth. He gets angry. I want to do that to somebody. Get angry? Just lift the ground and throw it at him. <laughs> cool. Who would you do that to? Uh, I don't know. Kim Jung Un. That'd be cool. Like he's in a helicopter and I just throw this. <laughs> nah, I don't know. Please don't kill me, Kim Jung. <laughs> I know you're listening. He's definitely listening. Fine, you're you're like. You're like in the same position that every, uh, late night, uh, host is in. Yeah. True. Crazy that he visited once. Alright guys, we need you all to calm down. <gasps> These guys can insta-die, right? We're gonna- let's find out. Let's find- let's just do- let's do a normal one. Damn it. Ah, oh, damn. So what does death work on? I- uh, I know in other games it will, like, I think it might be multiples of three that, like, like, enemies level needs to be. Uh, so... Or, like, multiples of something. Do Isis again. Isis. The ice is cold. Isis. Isis. Wake up, Snow Bomber. Ice, ice, baby. Hey, uh, which head of state uh, do you think that you, you, like, you could kick their ass? Any of the really old ones. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Is Mitch McConnell uh, head of state? Uh, I feel uh, like I could beat him up. It's bold of you, dude. And this isn't a threat, Mitch McConnell. <laughs> it's just threat. we meet. I'm punching your turkey neck. We just think you're Goozle, your big, big. Uh, Adam's apple is very flickable. Yeah. Wait, I think their cutscene's happening. Is it pussy like neck? Yeah. To do, yeah. You like just have the face the for getting You're swirly. <laughs> if it gets dangerous, pull out quick. You wear glasses too, so it's, it's like. Okay. Slap <laughs> books out of your hand. Tanuki says McConnell looks like a living paper bag. <laughs> <laughs> Should I? Should I explore more of the cave or go in the water? Water. Okay. Let's see what's down here. This is awesome. It's just like fucking Blitzball. Oh, this reminds me of Blitzball and taking a bath. It's just fucking swimming tickets. Now everything is Blitzball. You fuck. Did I tell you I I'm the star of Blitzball? I'm the star of Blitzball. So in the water, I can only use these three goons. They're the only ones who know how to swim. The only ones with swimming animation. <laughs> Tanuki, Mitch Mc uh, McConnell looks like a living paper bag filled with like cranberry sauce or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, it's like filled with, with like a like a. Uh, a jelly, some sort of liquid. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Fucking moist. <laughs> Fucking moist! Hell yeah. Listen, Mitch McConnell, babe, honey. Babe! <laughs> babe we'll, <laughs> we'll, stop, we'll stop saying all of this about you if you just sub. Sub. <laughs> Yeah, if you subscribe, we'll stop talking shit. I will not. If yeah. you change all of your policies, I'll stop talking shit. Okay. 
Mikey, stop being an evil asshole. Then we can start talking, maybe. I want you to uh, throw the blitz ball right through his weird chesticle thing that's flashing. Just like pops through him, you know, that little hole thing right there. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> I sliced it instead. Do the club. Tanuki says Mitch in the tear Mitch in tears at the club right now. Very unhappy, so parkade hating. <laughs> Mitch in tears. Well, he Is he from Utah? No, he's like. No, we have a. We have Mitt Romney. I need you to know. <laughs> Mitt Romney right. and something Owens. Who is it? Candace Owens. Uh, no. That's not you ours, is it? it She's not ours, right? Oh God, is she ours? Oh God, is Candace Owens ours? Oh, she's not even a thing. Okay. She's not, like, not in the government. She just talks about it. <laughs> oh. Oh, that was good. Who knew water enemies were immune to water? Not me. Spencer Cox. He's mm. the governor. His name is Cox. Yeah, last name Cox. Awesome. <laughs> I don't know anything about him. Oh, it's not it's not Cox, it's C O X. I thought it was Man, I'm disappointed. Yeah. I'm sorry. We had to do this to you. Uh, for senators, we have Mitt Romney and Mike Lee. Mike Lee, it sounds like, uh, like a setup for, uh, Mike Lee Taurus. <laughs> <laughs> they are both Republicans, of course. Are we supposed to have one of each? I thought that was the thing, but I guess not. No, we're about to state. What do you want from us? I just thought that was like a thing for each. And we all sit here and say the state and religion should be separated, but we live in Utah, so we know that ain't true. Yeah. Well. Anyway, Lainey, it's your time to shine. My time! I'm gonna need you to do uh, Electro Marble and Silver Hourglass. Electro Shock. <laughs> She electrocute- they electrocute your, themselves. Oh no. <laughs> They're poisoned, blinded, and silenced, and that guy's asleep. Sanuki said, he just said people just don't understand that this poor old man- This poor old man's just doing his best to stay rich and steal money from those less fortunate so he can enforce racist and sexist policies. Yeah, leave him alone. No. <laughs> just kidding. Look his goozle. Uh, did you see that the uh, Satan Satanists might be the last hope for uh, abortion rights in Texas, which is metal as fuck, and I hope they do it. I think I've heard that. Yeah, because uh, abortion is a right in there, like for it goes against their religion to not be able to have abortion yeah. access. Loophole. Right. The poop hole loophole. The poop hole. Uh, and you know what? If 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 religions are gonna play dirty games, I'm all fucking for it. You know? Oh yeah. Oh wait, could be, it's, I don't think Kabishi was watching. Might as well Kibishi. make some good. But yeah, I thought that was interesting. I was like, oh, Satanism at it again. Mm. Good old boys. What about Kabishi? Um, uh, the, the Lupin, uh, the Koike trilogy. What? Oh, uh, the picture I posted. 
Oh, a cutscene. Uh, Kabishi says she Wait. loves the, the loop pod movies. Aim for the center with Waka's ball. Oh god. What do I do? Just press X? Okay. X. And, X. and go. Oh, oh there's a wind up. up. Okay. And no. go. Boom. What? There's uh, another the, shield. Oh, uh, there's another it. one uh, inside. No. Okay. It's too late. It's too late. It's too late. Okay. 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 Now. Oh, the fuck. Oh, you clipped the edge. Now. God damn it. Damn it. Okay. <gasps> <laughs> Come on, Wackle. This is this is what makes people quit. Not, yeah, not I think the... this is why people hate this game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you did, did it. it! You found the clit. Fuck it, did it. Found the clit. <laughs> you found it in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> you found the little man in the boat. I found a little Tinkus. Tinkus found the clitus. Why do you have to? What? <laughs> what do you have to make it? Why? What? What did I make it? Uh, what the fuck? Tink is for the critters. No, like that? Tink is for president. Skesident. <laughs> Do cat, do do, do cat. <laughs> Mommy. 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 What if fish had horns? Fish? I think. Yeah, uh, yeah. Too, kind of, Narwhals, right? you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Narwhal, narwhal. Aren't they a mammal, though? Yeah. Yes. I, mean, I imagine that they're closely related to um, whales, right? Right. Imagine. Yeah, it's a narwhal or, or uh, is a is a medium-sized whale. Yeah. yeah I yep. Also, imagine having a tooth that big. Anything in the ocean kill me except for dolphins. Swordfish. That's yeah. their nose, though. Yeah. But, like, they got, like, teethies on it, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, cookie cutter sharks are fucking tight. I like them a lot. Mm hmm. Yeah. Like, uh, have you seen those pictures of, like, uh, bites that cookie cutters yeah. sharks have taken out of fish? Yeah. Like, they don't, they don't eat shit whole, it's just... No, yeah, that's what they usually go, like, they usually stick on to, like, uh, larger sharks or, like, whales and shit, and then just, like, eat chunks out of them. It's fucking brutal. Yeah. Which is, it's cool, they're cool, sharks are fucking metal, dude. I want to give them all the keys. No keys. I'll just be Mama Shark. Mama Shark keys. And then everyone will love me. All sharks will love me. I'll be queen of sharks. <laughs> Tuniki says, I do be loving sharks. Hell yeah. Shark really. They're just all good boys and girls, okay? Every single one of them. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Ha, he, ha. Well, that's just a lot of damage, though. Yeah. Y y you know what? If I was, if I was, uh, 
Like, if I had unlimited fucking resources at my disposal, I would fucking do like a Noah's Ark type of thing, where I would get two of every species, uh, even like the hard to find one. I would make sure that they would all be able to survive. They'd probably kill each other though. <laughs> well, what that. you would have to do is you would have to get um, like a crazy amount of land with all different um, like terrains and weathers and shit. So you'd probably yeah. have to have like multiple different zoo type places set up to make sure their conservation is safe, you know? And then they can still yeah, yeah. breed and you can introduce ones back to the wild and all that shit. Yeah, yeah. Because people talk a lot of shit on zoos, but like uh, AZA accredited zoos do um, do a lot of good work. Mm, yeah. It's just the ones that aren't AZA accredited. I I wouldn't trust them or pay money to be there because they don't treat uh, their animals correctly. Well, I mean, that doesn't mean they all treat their animals bad, but it means that they don't have they don't get proper funding because they're not following guidelines, which can be very harmful to, anim to the animals. So yeah, exactly. I don't like to support that shit because I don't think that's right. A magic zoo. Right? Where, like... Oh, hello. Uh, In a world where you could do that, that's what you would want to do. Yeah. yeah. Like, I yeah, totally just unlimited it. space. So we don't uh, keep it, go like, having animals go extinct. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah. I get it. I also would do that. That would be really tight. I'd be breeding great white sharks left and right so they don't go extinct. God damn it. You think Dr. Doolittle ever, ever went like, um... <laughs> Like start fucking, <laughs> and they're like, I don't, I don't want to do it with you watching Doctor Doolittle. No oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Doolittle just harasses the animals. Oh. Didn't a new one come out with Robert Downey Jr., which is upsetting? It was fucking weird. Yeah, why would he leave Marvel and then do that? It was like weird. that's a weird decision, in my opinion. Yeah, that, and it also is, like, weird... I guess he's got uh, kiddos, but it's still weird. Narnia shit. Huh. Like, like... I don't know. Like, I watched the Eddie Murphy ones when they came out when I was really young, and, like, have yeah. not really seen them. I haven't seen them and haven't really thought about them since. So, like, I just don't know if that's one you need a remake. I don't know, here we are just always talking shit on the remakes, right? <laughs> like, no matter what. Yeah. It's just like, do it well, do it right, you fucking idiots. It can't be that hard. Like, I know it has to be difficult and there's a lot of work that is put into shit, but like, it can't be that hard to make something good, right? It just can't be. I, I don't know, what was the original Doctor Doolittle? Like, like, uh... Not the movies, like, books or some shit? Oh, I... I... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know probably was. If it's a movie, it was a book. That's how it works, right? Like Space Jam, that was a book. Was it? No. <laughs> but when, when did you blow your fucking lid? Yeah. You can't go this way?
Come on, come on, come on. Oh god. That's close. Oh yeah. Suppose that's something. You bring back my Nev Campbell, David Arquette, and Courtney Cox. I'm fucking watching it. <laughs> like I'm there. I am sad that Wes Craven is dead and won't be involved. And that's where I'm sad. Okay. Yeah. And everyone said he was so fun to work with. Nice guy. Yeah. Oh, I'll watch it, goddammit. We'll see how bad it is. They also remade the craft, and I heard it was trash garbage. That makes me sad. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Who's in it? Balk is also in it. Who's the Balk? The the spooky, sexy one. Mm. So my, I might still have to watch it, even though I've heard it's very bad, and they just did not do anything justice. Mm -hmm. What can you do? Also, the craft was great. Please just start remaking movies that have good ideas. But we're done badly, and then make them good. No. But why are you taking like really great, really good movies and then just being like <laughs> into the faces of everyone? As I said so. We were dumb. We were canceled. Guess you. Yeah, and he's not very he is fucking good. Look like at his three, yeah. his three little uh, nipples down there. Yep. Are you sure those are nipples? Uh, they could be a penis and balls. A penis. Penis. Okay, imagine your dick is in the same spot, but your balls are on your hips. Uh, Would you enjoy that? Seems like you get hit in the balls a lot more often. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. You just like sidestepping stuff, and then you like on the corner of a table right into your ball. Oh, I don't even have balls this so awful. Because this sounds very inconvenient. What would be the optimal place uh, I think for your balls, balls are to be? in the optimal place except for being inside of you. Yeah. Which I think That's... would be the most optimal place. <laughs> Protect them babies. Yeah, it's unfortunate, right? Yeah. But they have to say a certain temperature and. And people say here they're like vaginas are complicated and weird and gross and it's like bitch everything on the inside where it's supposed to be you and your danglers come on <laughs>
What if? What if you didn't have to have balls? Oh, what if, Tsunuki what says if, apparently they can't because they gotta be cooler than the rest of your body to produce, to produce the sperm is right. Yeah. Mm. So when it's cold, they get closer That's to your body. That's why they like, kind of go... And then when it's hot, they go away from your body. Ew. Ew, balls are gross. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what, if, what if you didn't need balls? What if, what if sperm was made in the heart? I think kids would be better. Like, people would be better because then you were made from love. Yeah. And yeah. not from just fucking. Just dirty fucking. <laughs> uh, that would be cute because then, yeah, because then to actually make a baby, you would have to open your heart to somebody, and then that's when the spermies would release. Yeah. You have to be really in love. Yeah. Uh, oh, bro, Steven, that means we would make a baby. Ew. Yeah, I don't want that. Back to hating each other. Were you uh, the ones who, who uh, said that hypothetical? Or, I think it might have been. Uh, it might not have been. What would you do if uh, you had to keep having sex to have a baby? For like nine months. I don't want to. <laughs> like oh, to like to it? keep, like, yeah, to keep growing it? Oh, God. To add parts. Keep growing the baby. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it would really depend on kind of, uh, on what kind of pregnancy you have. <laughs> because, like, I've heard some women are like, oh, yeah, super into it, you know? And then others are like, don't fucking touch me. Right. So I guess it would, <laughs> I guess it would be easier for some women. <laughs> I think, like, you, did, I think you did talk to us about it, yeah. We would just not the, have sex for nine months. Because <laughs> I don't want a baby. The, the, the uh, build a baby workshop, except instead of, oh, you know, shit. being like stuffing, it's it's come. Mr. Popinski is raiding with a party of nine. Thank you. Oh, hello. Thank you. Uh, Thank you, James. We're talking about come. We're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what else is fucking new? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you about right. Amazing. Anyway, hi. Yeah, I don't like that build a baby idea. I'm not I'm not in on that. Uh. I don't like that. Build a baby. Workshop. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't like that. I do not like that. Tanuki says, I didn't even know Popinski was streaming, but I already have two streams up as is. And James says, I am nice. Classic James. Classic James. I was singing a song about you today. I can't remember what it was. It was, uh... It was, uh... Uh-huh. my name. Oh, it was, uh, Hol Ain't No Hollow Back Girl? Yeah. Yeah, I was singing about James. James is nice. James is nice. <laughs> That's how it went. Chocolate water. Ew. <laughs> just Wait, skip everything uh, else and it's chocolate water. Fucking gross. Wait, no. It's, uh... What, what is it? It's, it's uh, chocolate starfish and hot dog flavored water. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> the fucking chocolate water. <laughs> Hell yeah. Did you get your sleep in your work, Stevie? Yeah. After you shattered it on the bathroom floor? Yeah. It was me. <laughs> it was, though. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna run. See ya. Yeah, they're really strong. Team e e e uh, Tanuki chocolate says chocolate water. water, you mean you who? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, this sounds so gross. What if the uh, medical term for uh, diarrhea was you who? You who? Joe? 
Yeah. She's saying a lot of gross things today. <laughs> <laughs> so. Did she wake up on the weird, like, wrong side of the bed, and now you're just fucking weird and gross? <laughs> the mind is. Um, Have fun at your barbecue, dude. Joe, it's all there, I guess. Depraved, yeah. Vegan. Depraved, man. I'm gonna yeah. go to a barbecue. <laughs> barbecue? Yeah. James is going to a barbecue. I wanna go. Yeah, this sounds fun. It's awesome. I love, I love grilling. I could eat some dead animal corpse off the grill. Sounds great. Truly, though, it sounds delicious. Truly. Ooh, and try all the pasta salads. Oh shit, why don't we need to know people who have a yard so that we can have a barbecue? Truly. Uh, what time are we're doing the new ground thing at six, right? Yeah, around six. When do you want to stop this? We should have a break in between. Uh, so I can eat and shower. 59. Okay, I can't do both of those things in one minute. <laughs> I don't know. What time is it? 2 four, 14. Oh, shit. Gee. Gee. I guess you and Joe could talk and like a few stuff. Joe, 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 Joe. Yeah. Joe, Joe. What's up? Joe, well, are you, are you Joe, going to Joe. church today? And if so, what time? Uh. I don't know if I'm going today. Oh, okay. I'll have to see. Take me to church. How's that sound? Let's go. He goes, take me to church. I love Jesus Christ. <laughs> Superstar. <laughs> Not absolutely how it goes. I think that's yeah. I think that's you. I think you're right. I don't know. We'll stop at four. <coughs> I guess we can stop at four. Cool beans. Yeah, I fucking guess. Ow. Yeah. She's gonna run from those guys forever. Um, I just want to know why. How are you not? I can't get over here. You're not gonna get any stronger. Maybe you can't go there. Yet. Also, look at the map. It's telling me to go here, right? Yeah. And then I go down. Oh. Uh oh. What are you? <laughs> Whoa! Jesus. Uh, Tanuki said, I thought the song said, Take me to church so I can eat onion rings in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's also right. He. Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh my god! Is this a. Is this a boss? Fuck! Yeah, he, he can one shot anyone, I think. Jeez, yeah, now you have to heal him so he can. Yeah, I turned him into a zombie. Yeah. Give him the good heals. Eunice. And then you die. Tuna! Chocolate. <laughs> tuna starfish and the chocolate flavored tuna. Chocolate flavored fish. Oh, uh, what if? Oh, uh, whip? What if? Chocolate fish? No, look. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do it. Oh my let's god. Go, let's, go, it. let's go. Let's go. Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh fuck. <laughs> he did it. Cool. He vaporized. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Anyway, that red mark right there, and then it's like right there. It's weird. Cause he, cause he, he one shot you. Was he? I don't know. One shot the one shotter. Well, I'm gonna look this up real quick. Speed things up it's a little cold bit. In here. Turn it up. Can you? 
Okay, thanks. Okay. Watch a good horror movie sometime this weekend, Stephen. What? I need to watch Candyman out of my brain. Okay. So just a heads up. We should watch Silence of the Lambs. You've never seen it. Oh, I think I'm supposed to keep swimming. Oh. Uh, Silence of the Lambs. Um, yeah, I can do that. Joe, have you seen it? Silence of the Lambs? No. Yeah, you should watch it. It's fucking so good. Okay. And and not, it's uh, more like psychological kind of stuff. It's not like, um... Right. It's yeah. not gory. It's not super gory. It's not, like, it's there's no jump scares, I don't think. Like, it's not, it's not that kind of shit. That's good. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, I, th I think you would enjoy that one, honestly. I do like psychological horror. Dude, Silence Lambs is super good. To me, for threes. Uh, to me says, hey, this is gonna be random, but have you guys played Bloodborne? I have not. Joe? Let's end this. What's up? Have you played Bloodborne? I no, you. I haven't. I also haven't, um... They look really difficult, but if I were to play one, I would play Bloodborne because the fighting style seems more uh, up my alley than the Dark Souls. Yeah. But they seem Dark really Souls hard, is... and I'm very bad at video games, as I'm sure you've all noticed. <laughs> right. Dark Souls is a rhythm game. Did you, did you all know that? <laughs> it's a rhythm yeah. game? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tanuki said that movie scared my mom when she was pregnant with me, she tells me. Yeah, it's like it's like scary in a way of like, oh shit, people are like can be so terrifying, you know? But it's not like I don't think it's actively gonna like make you scream or like cover your eyes. It's scary in a different way, because people are scary. Cover your bum. There I see you. Uh Tanuki said I mostly asked because I I feel like you would dig it. Yeah, I've watched a lot of Dark Souls playthroughs, and I really like the aesthetic a lot. I do be liking it. Aesthetic. See you later. Oh my god, that's scary, Tanuki. She said she was going, was started being afraid someone was going to take me away as a baby because of it. Maybe. <laughs> oh. Well. Yep. <laughs> uh, but everyone, like Anthony Hopkins, is amazing in it. Jodie Foster is fucking great. Like everyone does such a good, such a good uh, movie. Oh, so good. I uh, think said, and yeah, Bloodborne is a fave. LOL. I just find the story funny. Yeah, I'd be like, haha, mom, you're silly. I watched The Strangers with my mom in theaters, and she was like, fuck, like fucked her up and I was like okay ma'am this is the woman who got me into true crime why are you so fucked up by this movie she's like it could really happen I was like yeah die <laughs> do do it yeah it's scary cause like being kidnapped and like real life serial killers are fucking terrifying it's very scary but just in a different way a different way than most horror movies are. Yeah, my mom is like, my mom's always like, The Exorcist is still the scariest movie ever made. And I was like, no, it's not. <laughs> it's very good, but it's not the scariest thing ever made. It's just not. <laughs> but I guess like for her time and her growing up, you know, what did it to her? Yeah, it's cute. But she's very wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I just like the devil and demons and all that bullshit doesn't scare me, so I'm like, eh. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Meow. 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 Wait, I don't get it. I like more like ghosty, human, missing some monster kind of shit. That's more scary to me. 
Am mm -hmm. I overlooking something? Not like exorcisms and that kind of stuff. But I guess I'm not also is like she's not really, she's not super religious, but she you know, she's very spiritual in in her own ways. So I guess she believes in that shit more than I do. That's a lot of fish. Lots of fish. Fish is on the back fish. on the menu, boys. Fishes. Fishes. <laughs> Fucking hate you. <laughs> Can you imagine throwing a ball at a fish? It's fucked up. <laughs> 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 it is. Yeah. <laughs> you put it that way. That's the way he put it. He threw the ball at the fish. <laughs> He the one. He do be the How one. How do I get over there? Swim. 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 Swimming. Swim. I want to go swimming. Let's go swimming before it's not hot. Okie dokie, okie dokie. Let's go fucking swimming ass. Let's go swimming ass. We should go next weekend, because I bet it'll be less crowded. After yeah, true. We should just go to like a like a pool, you know? We don't have to go to like a thing. True. What if, uh, what if Tinkus was in, uh, in Weezer? I think he is. The <laughs> uh, joke is you, you call it Twinkerton. <laughs> Twinkers? Yeah. Stinkies. I'm pretty sure Tinkus is uh, Rivers Kumos. And uh, Kurt Cobain. Rivers Kami? Yeah. <gasps> I'm writing him a letter. I have to change your name to Rivers Kami. Guess what I received in the mail today. <laughs> what? Words of deep concern from Lane. This Weezer song. Uh, Tanuki says, I love that one song, Tink Triangle. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> 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 you tried, bitch. Big fish, bitch. Try it again. With the sword, he has a thing called Evade Encounter. Oh, my God. Uh -huh. Wait, your time to shine. Um, um, uh, uh, dream powder with go up. Wait, keep going down. Sorry. A uh, shining thorn. Holla. Holla. Cause I ain't no holla back girl. Uh, that album do be fun though. Just saying. Is that song song? The song song? The song song? A little awkward silence there. Yeah. You know, I just don't think I like when people cross their arms. Yeah. It makes me hate them in a video game. <laughs> Especially in a game. Is there like a thing I can do? I guess not. Alright. Is there a thing I can do? I should just go down and see if I find anything. Let's make you slow. Uh, 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 oh. Uh, shot you miss. I guess you're slow. We knew Tinkus was slow. Dang. That's why he's, that's why he can't swim fast in the blissful. That's why he's got his weak to little legs. <laughs> My weak little legs.
Oh yeah, I should be doing armor break. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a dink. Master Peter. Master Peter? Master Peter. Close. Just goes. Just goes. Squish. 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 What did Austin Powers say? He said he was a master debater. Yeah, he's a master debater. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then he, he made like uh funny looking shadows. Yep. Yep. All that happened. Can't confirm. Tink, you tink. When I die, I wanna turn into a pro with goo. Oh y'all. No, probably not. We all, we all turn into oils. Like immediately. No. I want to do it immediately. Just like my dad before me. Dad, no! <laughs> Imagine if, um, instead of, like, like pretending, um, uh, for years that. In like an urn, there's ashes, but in reality, it's like it's it's like uh, yeah, it's <laughs> like milk or expired juice or something. Ew! All right. It's just a bunch of tuna. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sam says hello. Hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. Hello. hello. We're talking about cum. Not now, but we were earlier. We always always are. It always comes back to come. None of us would be here without come. Come home. Come home, please. Come home. Dad. How many and cigarettes just are you buying, Dad? <laughs> it's today he said, and Ern's just full of Oreo cookie, cookie crumbs. crumbs. Oh. I asked my mom uh, when she died if I could have her skull, and she was very upset by that question. <laughs> hmm. Is yeah. that a no? Yeah, I'm gonna say it's no. It's a no from her dog. Uh, but I'm gonna try to keep my dog's skull when he goes. So we'll see if I can do that. And the kitty cat skulls. Bacon. Like a Q-bone. Uh... I'm not gonna thing. wear it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's like Dawson. Like, it's just the way, you know, because I think we're gonna get the cats cremated, I believe, right, Steven? I don't know. Okay. Um, well, I think we should. So if that happens, then we can keep going with the bones. Because the bones, they don't burn down. Says, dang, I guess if she I guess she was if she haunted you enough to be asked after she died. I think she may have already been mad. She's yeah. Well, of course I'm gonna ask her. It's her school. I'm not gonna just be like, let me keep it. Like, Can I, I do it now? It's, uh, like, it's gonna would, be for like, uh, you know. I know there's legally like, ways to get bones. I just don't know how you do it. But I know there's legal ways to do it. Hash me on the keyboard. But well, it's a specific person, though, man. Yeah? What do you want? Yeah, but like... It's my like mom. Like in a will? Yeah, she's like, I'm not putting that in my will. And I was like, why? You're dead, why do you care? In my will, every person I love is gonna get one piece of my bones. Like, part of my skeleton. Oh, I got the hips. They don't lie. <laughs> Mom, I just want to be Q-Bone when I grow up. <laughs> she would just stare at me further. She'd be like, I don't get it. Uh, my dad's face was also like, I was like, oh, am I, is there something wrong with me? Am I normal? Like, what, that that girl ain't cool. right. Yeah, kind of. What it felt like? That girl ain't Let's right. See, like, like my weird bone structure. I guess I can't, because I'd be dead. 
But I want somebody to see my uh, weird, like, uh, like chin. That's the thing is, I want to comp- I want to see the different different shapes of the cat skulls because Ashby's got a tiny little head and Rigby's got a big old flat head. I think yeah. it'd be fascinating to have their skulls to be like, look at my different kid- kitty cats in the past and my babies, and it's mm. a way to remember them. And I don't know what's morbid about that. I want people to see... People keep uh, where... fucking literal burned up flesh in a vase. And no one thinks that's morbid? <laughs> Just saying. I don't know what's so weird about it. <laughs> I didn't mean to cut you off. I just feel passionately about my skulls. Right. I want to know if there's a dent, dent in my head. <laughs> I have a crack in my skull. Goes way up. Do. Steven, yeah. if you die first, can I have your skull? Uh, sure. Okay. Oh my god, it would be such a big skull. Oh my god, it would be beautiful. Enough. Tamiki says, yeah, you're right. It's society that's wrong. I know. No time to waste. Yeah. Let's I go. Know. Also, what do they do with the bones after anyway? Why would it be such an issue? You know, like what do they do with them bones? They, they uh, actually, I know they what they do like... with them bones. They break them up uh, oh, into so uh, pieces that look like ash, look and put up. it with like the rest of your ashes. They play like a little uh, xylophone jig first, though. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, well, instead of doing that, just give me the fucking skull. Why is that weird? Why is that weird? I don't feel like it's weird. What happens, Steven? I'm just confused. Make Hall Halloween props, I assume? Hell yeah. There's like a passage I can't get through. I don't know why. Let me look at a video. <gasps> well. In my will, I'm going to put, I want my skeleton to be donated to a haunted house so people can be scared with a real skeleton. That'd be cool. That'd be okay. fucking epic. If I ever get killed, uh, I want I want person who killed me to have my my bones. Uh. Why? Why not? I don't know. Like you know, so that they can drink uh, like wine out of my head. They can make like a a skull cup. Ed Gein did that. Yep. Mhm. Mm yep. 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 Yeah, it wouldn't be. Or like, you could just you know, give me your some... skull, and then I could just have a collection of skulls of people I used to know. It wouldn't be like a, a serial killer a thing. It'd be like somebody who, used to know. who who slew me in battle. You know, you... like they just took a, a broadsword and they just fucking chopped my head off. Do you think we Not have like... the Lord of the Rings world? When are you ever going to be sl in battle and then slayed by a man with a sword? <laughs> you never know. I it might, it might be, it you might be someone in chat right I now. I don't think that that's going to happen in your lifetime. I'm sorry, but I don't, I don't think that's what's going to happen. It's like the, the infinite monkey theorem. Right? What? Infinite the, the infinite monkey theorem. Where if there are an infinite amount of monkeys on an infinite amount of typewriters they will write every single uh book that can and will exist in an infinite amount of time so in an infinite amount of universes i'm gonna get my head chopped off with a broadsword and i will let them keep my skull all right Tanuki. Just letting you know that, Tanuki. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah. I mean, you you know what? You're right. When you're right, you're right. I'm I'm also letting that known to the uh, the guy who was called Blitzball, who was in chat. I don't know if they're still in chat. They, they probably aren't, but if they are, you know, you chop my head off with a broadsword, you, you gotta keep that, that specimen. So 
So what you're saying is if I come and chop your head off, I get to keep your bones? Yes. Fuck yeah. Mm-hmm. Tanuki says, uh, you want to fight in like 80 years? Duel for each other's heads? Mm -hmm. Uh, oh my yeah, God, sure. Fuck yeah. I think Joe would have the upper hand because he's younger. Uh-huh. And also, uh, you know, I don't have weak baby legs. <laughs> you saying Tanuki is Tinkus because that's mean? <laughs> <laughs> no. How dare you say that about Tanuki? Tanukis. I'm sure he has strong, manly legs, okay? <laughs> yeah. The bud of stronger. <laughs> <laughs>
So yeah. <laughs> I would argue mm. that's more of a riddle. Yeah, it's not much of a but fact. But it's also it? a fact. Like, like it is a fact. <laughs> but I would if argue you, that that's more of a riddle. If you were the 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 riddler, you would I would fucking be in uh I would be in your riddle puddle. <laughs> you know how he dips people in in like jars of stuff? I don't know. Doesn't he like do acid stuff? I don't I don't watch Batman. I don't I don't know what Batman is. Would you like me to give you an actual Batman? Yeah. Semen only contain contains around five to ten calories of pure ejaculation. And How much protein? Yeah, carbs and fat. Let's get it all. <laughs> if if semen was like a hundred percent protein, do you think that uh, bodybuilders? But like fruit, prostate, produce, proteins called I don't know how to say that. Oh yeah. Uh, so it doesn't tell me how. Is that edible? Yeah, it makes sense though. It's gotta have the all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so uh, swallowing cum is only five to ten calories, Sam and Steven. So you know. Cool. Mm -hmm. You know, first snack. Snack, okay. Hi, Sam. <laughs> he said hello, so I'm saying hi back. Cool. Da 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 da. Oh, did you yeah, also put drink to what? You did. So you can drink what and then you hand it to me. Yeah, and you guys stretched too. Yeah, we stretched. We did the stretchies. I will. I don't have enough for a uh, compliment. Aww. Well, then you don't get one. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm a dumb, dumb. Uh, you, you can berate me, though. So. I just, I do that on it normally, so it'll happen, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. I berate everyone I love. That's like, that's like, um... Like a channel awesome reviewer, the berater. <laughs> the berater. Yeah. Steven, we should He's... get one that's, uh, Steven gives you a kiss. The berator was in Kickassia, you just didn't see him. And then you have to go... Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway. Kickassia, Sam. <laughs> yeah. Kick... See ya. Kick? 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 Kick Kickaroo. Kick my balls in. Kick me too. Kick me too. I was watching Nostalgia Critic, and that's how I found out about that uh, that Stephen King movie. What Stephen King movie? Uh, oh shit! What? Oh, God, it was the one with the cat people. Cat people. Hold on, let me. Uh. Hold on. A movie about cats. Cats. Sleepwalkers. Oh, yes. Have you seen that one? I have not. I don't think. I don't believe I have. I might have seen it when I was really little. Yeah. But I don't really ever count that. Because <laughs> I don't remember it... shit if I watched it when I was like, really young. So. <laughs> it has this one scene where uh, a cop gets killed with corn cob. Oh, fuck yeah. It also has, Sam says like, friends, question mark? <laughs> yeah, show? Friends. yeah, the show. Stephen King wrote all of Friends. All ten seasons. I fucking knew it. Ross and Phoebe were, like, the, the kids from It. <laughs> <laughs> Ha 
That's why Ross, no, Ross is such a sociopath. Too, Phoebe's too, like, a... Phoebe's too joy-free, or, like, carefree and, like, joyous mm -hmm, for her to yeah. be a kid from it. Um, <laughs> Sam says, pivot! Which I get, Ross I watched all of Friends. <laughs> 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 That, pivot! When, when that was, pivot! Yeah. Oh, God. When that was like the the uh the the ship got stuck in the the uh the Suez Canal. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was just like, I was like pivot pivot. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, watching watching Ross in that OJ show was so fucking weird for a minute. Oh yeah. I could not like. It took a lot for me to be like, okay, he's not Ross. It took a lot. Yeah. But that yeah. voice will always just be Ross, so it was very hard. <laughs> he, he makes all of his Ross expressions. He's just, and like he did, I think he did a really good job. It's just that he's Ross, you know. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. It's it was like weird. same with, uh, you know, uh, uh, I can't think of a good example, but it's like actors who are in like, uh, like they, you can only yeah, see them like, as their role. It's like Daniel Radcliffe. I know he's done so many things since Harry Potter. But that boy will always be Harry Potter. Yeah. <laughs> also, like, I know, like, the uh, I can't even remember his name right now. He'll always just be Edward Cullen. Uh, Robert Pattinson, that's his name. Right. Like, it's just, yeah, like, it's kind of how I all like, you, like, you know you can kind of try to separate it, but it's always just gonna be them. Because oh, they did such a good fucking job. And like, I think especially when it's like uh, something as substantial as like a, a Friends that's just 10 seasons long or Harry Potter, which is eight movies, like in a lot of ways you grew up with them if you watch right. those, you know? So it, that those ones are harder. Like uh, Sarah Michelle Gellar, I'm like, oh, Buffy, you know? Like everything she's in. I'm like, just just beat him up like Buffy, God damn it! But she's <laughs> not Buffy in it. And so, it, yeah, it's just, just what it is. It sucks, and I feel bad for them, but at least you did something great that people will remember you for. And, you know, that, that's another thing, like, when you have actors that are inseparable from their roles, uh, it, you know, it's basically, uh, it, it basically ensures that you can't be replaced, I guess. Yeah, that's true. But, like, uh, th there are ones that I, I will, I do feel bad for, like Robert Pattinson. Yeah. He, like, he doesn't, he's not a fan of Twilight, which I is understandable. <laughs> Right. And so, uh, like, I, I feel bad that, like, even just now, like, the, I couldn't remember his name, so it, it was Edward Cullen. Like, that sucks. So that's just kind of what who he is, you know? So I, there, there are ones that I feel bad because they're not the greatest pieces of uh, cinema. 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 Uh, I think, uh, did you guys say that here that, um... Twilight was weird because of it, it, I don't know, but I heard this somewhere, but like, Twilight, everybody in it was a good actor. Yeah. Right? But right. they just I wouldn't say everyone, really I wouldn't badly. stretch it that far, but right, most, right. Mo we've seen Robert Pattinson do more shit, and he's great. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know? We've seen, it, like, Anna Kendrick isn't for everyone, but we've seen her perform better than that, you know? It's everyone's acting chops went that. there to die. Yeah, she was. And she forgets too. Remember uh, she tweeted that? Oh yeah. Uh, and th but then there's like Ashley Green who is in it, who I don't think can act her way out of the paper bag. So there's ones in it that I'm like, oh, this do be making sense. But Robert Pattinson, we know. But like, I think it's what they were given. They the tried as hard as they could with what it Hit was. Hit the three panels simultaneously. Check each size before deciding who to send. It's not a good, it's not a well written book, and it's so therefore it probably wasn't a well written script. And that's right. hard to work with. Which one's smaller? 
The green uh, one the or green. the blue one? Oh, ooh. Let me see the green. Let me see the blue. Let me see the green. Let me see the blue. The blue. <laughs> okay. Is uh, it, was it the right so he's hole? He's gotta go in the in the green. Because you're with Waka, green boy. right? Yeah, because he's big. He's gotta fit in the red one, right? That's what I'm thinking. Is that what is what's happening? I think so. Did I do it? No, nope. I didn't. Okay. Can I try. She needs to go that? in the green. Sorry. Wait. Let's go back. Come back. Oh fuck. Okay. <laughs> How are Imagine you checking to, like, size, so... Is it just, just trial and error? I think so. That sucks. He needs to go with the blue. This is blue boy. And Waka go in the red. That Big man on campus. <laughs> right. Okay. Did it work? Did that... It flashed. Yeah. Oh, I got a chest. Yeah. Okay. Boom. Heath Ledger. What about him? Right. <laughs> Heath, he, Ledger. Uh, Heath Ledger is one of those actors that, uh, you know, is is like uh, inseparable from their 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 roles. I think in because he is he was like so, like a character actor. I think for him that is true. But for me, like he 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 he's very good at what he does. So like, and I also like, I've seen that movie with him as the Joker, and like, I don't remember him as the Joker, you know? Ah, uh, I see. I remember yeah. him from, and it's like, maybe it's just because I'm not a fucking fan, and I just didn't give a shit, and still don't. Um, maybe that's why, but like, I've seen him in other movies, and he does a good job. He's very talented, or he was very talented. Uh, like, 10 Things I Hate About You is more of what I think of. Um... Uh, Brokeback Mountain is more of what I think of versus the right. Joker. Oh uh, right, because it's but, like actually, it's his it's his face clearly. Yeah. But I uh, I think uh, with him it is probably easiest to remember him as the Joker because he literally died being like in the role of, like be you know when he was playing still playing him. So right. that's like the last known thing that he you know that he was in. So. Except for that well, that movie that he died during, the other one, and then they brought in all the other peoples, and the movie was bad. Right, yeah. What was that movie called? With Johnny Depp and, like, Jude Law, right? What? No, oh, what was that movie? Sam? Sam? Yeah. We need your movie knowledge. The Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus. That's right. It was not good. I did not enjoy it very much. Mm. Um, but also that was like more of a little known one versus like fucking a Batman movie like <laughs> you know mm -hmm. <laughs> Sam just comes in and says movie <laughs> thank you is there a movie called movie I'm not counting scary movie and shit Brings up like movie show times and stuff. Hmm. So I'm gonna guess no. Movie the movie? That would be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford in the movie. Yeah. What do you remember Harrison Ford for the most? Indiana Jones. That's true. I'm sure a lot of other people would argue uh, Star Wars. Gumby. Right. Gumby. Yeah. Um, and my mom, I grew up with my, like, my mom loves both, both of those things, uh, Indiana and Star Wars. So, mm -hmm. uh, he's, that's like the second thing I, I think of him, you know, in, but the, the, for some reason the first is he's just so much sexier in Indiana Jones. He's such a sexy, sexy man when he was younger. Yeah. Mm. 
But yeah, my first thought is Indiana Jones, and then second is Han Solo. Uh, Sam says Grumpy, and yeah. Tanuki says <laughs> Same Laney. Hell yeah. I, th I also, I think I prefer his character in Indiana Jones than to Han Solo. Han Solo's a bit of a nice guy. I'm not a fan of that. Carrie Fisher deserves better, just saying. Uh, Tunique says, my mom wasn't into Star Wars, but was a big Indiana Jones fan, so I only knew him for, from that for years. Yeah. Uh, my mom, like, absolutely is obsessed with Star Wars, more so than Indiana Jones, but I, I just, for some reason, that's why I'm like, oh yeah, there's a Thord. Maybe because, right. like, he's the main, main star, you know? Like, his movie, like, not his movie, but you know what I mean. He's a star of that, of those. Yeah, I agree. I think he's better written, and he's a nicer person. Someone tells you, I love you, and you just say, I know, and then you walk away. You're a bastard. A sexy bastard, but a bastard. Did they misspell hunting? <laughs> yes, that's hunting. Hunting? Hunting. That's not a word, right? I don't... Let me Google. I'm Googling it, too. Also, my mom texted me. Oh, it is. It's a sword. Oh. From this game? Uh, Beowulf. Oh. It's this. What's your favorite? What do you know? Uh, <laughs> Our favorite what? what? What is your, uh... Uh, favorite alternative response to I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you. I don't know. Um, I like... I don't uh, think any good one. I don't think any of them are great except for I love you because it doesn't feel good to be on any end of that, you know? <laughs> yeah. If only it, there it was someone who way. loved you. Check it out, check it out. Check it out. That's my favorite. See, see, what would you say? If only there was someone who loved you. Oh, it's Joe! No! <laughs> oh shit, it's so, Joe Bass! What up, so Joe Bass? Hi, hi, Joe. We got the two Joes. We're gonna we just leave need to get Joey hour. in here, and then... <laughs> just so you're aware. We got, like, hey, an hour left. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, make my, <laughs> make my go. <laughs> what? Okay. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, someone in high school once, actually, many boys in high school were like, I love you. And I was like, oh, God, what do you say when you don't love them? Mm. Love you. Thanks. It was just like, oh, okay. Oh, like, best response to I love you? Yeah. Sorry, I misunderstood. Uh, wrong kid died. <laughs> Wait, cutscene. They'll be upon us soon. She has sent fiends to test our summoner's strength. Who is she? Unaleska. Lady Unaleska. In These names are getting more ridiculous. Strongest. Yeah. Fantasy she names, though, you know. Alive? Yeah. As much as Micah and Seymour. I see. And as far as names go, Micah nerve. and Seymour are pretty normal. No. Right. Nothing frightens me now. Braska would be proud. Then I must not let him down. Look at all your friends. Unaleska, she's the first summoner to kill Sin. Oh, shit. Uh, Joe Bay says, actually, a modern pod champ. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> uh, Sam says Jobis. Sam is only saying things with like one, just one word. Sam's a what one if What if you okay? said, what if what if somebody said I love you, and what if you said Pog Champ? Pog Champ. <laughs> uh, Poggers. See, he did it again. Uh, Tanuki told him about this thing, and Sam just comes back and says, "Amazing." That's the best response. Says Let's see you under pressure. Is it like, uh... You okay, Sam? 
is it like a challenge? Is it like a vow of silence? Except it's uh, a vow of one word. My response to usually I love you is uh, we break up. Because it's no. too fast and I'm scared. Too fast, too furious? Yeah. Your love is too fast and too furious and I can't. And then that's uh, when the, Sp the Spice Girl song uh, Stop plays. Uh, bitch. Hell yeah. Uh, I don't want to I'll learn that shit from Seymour. <laughs> oh, I don't want to give you mine. He Passenger side. He did one thing. Tanuki says, uh, Brian's wife is is probably like, love you, and he's like, poggers! Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Also, James and his girlfriend. I can see that. Also, Sam and Steven. I can see that. Did you Shreven? Shreven? Sheeman. Sheepbelt? What would your guys' name, like your celebrity name be? You, you're in such names. Uh... Sammy Two Face, and I'll be. <laughs> no, like, <laughs> you know when you combine names? Oh. Samvin. Oh, Samvin. I ship it. Salmon? Salmon! I ship it. <laughs> Sammy Two Face. Ugh, man. He's I... called like, Sam like... Two Face. <laughs> I like my name because uh, anybody who would. Uh, if I had a celebrity name like that, anybody who would date me would have to have tool bag at the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> or Joe. No. That doesn't work that way. Oh, okay. Just, yeah. just tool bag? Sorry. It's like, uh... J-Lo tool bag. <laughs> Jennifer, Jennifer tool bag? Yeah. Beautiful. She would be J. Joe then. Did you be cool? Yeah. That'd be, that'd be really cool. I think a boss is coming. A hard one? I don't know. Ambushed by this guy. No way. Not my video game. Not today. Suck up, fish. Joe says, is your team over-leveled or what? Um, I don't know, honestly. Yeah, it's hard to tell in this game. Yeah. Because some are just, like, some enemies are, like, just ridiculously hard. Yeah, let's bring out Isis. Uh, Joe says, I have no concept of progression in this game. Honestly, there's no leveling, so, like, you're just, you like... Just get stronger, but <laughs> not, with no numbers. There's like a grid, and like each time you gain a level, quote unquote, you can move around on that grid. And like unlock stuff, right? Is yeah. That the thing? Okay, yeah. Unlock stats. It's weird. I don't know if I'm a huge fan of that. I think I just like leveling. Oh, uh, you have to play it to like really like appreciate it. I think. No, 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 Joe. That that's a good Final Fantasy. This one's a medium Final Fantasy. I'm enjoying it. I think it aged pretty well. Joe says, wait, is this the one that has one winged angel for the final boss name? No. That is seven, and that's the only one I played, and I love it. Teeth is everything. Medium is still pretty good, he says. Yeah, like, I'm having fun with it, but it's not It's not Final Fantasy seven. It's not at that level for me. I think you would like it more if you played it. Mm. Oh, can you excuse me? I have to go to the bathroom. Okay. Wow. Thank you. I won't be able to make funnies. Dang. Uh, d that's fine. We'll we'll try to make it up for you. Yes. Joe says I had a PS1 to play Final Fantasy on, and I cannot remember which one I played. Was there a babe? Uh, PS1. You either had seven, eight, or nine, or wait, oh, Cassian. <laughs> Joe says no funnies, riot. Or tactics. I think it's the boss. Yeah. I just thought it was more of a handheld game versus like that kind of system. Uh, that's what it became. Yeah. The first tactic is really good. It just seems to me like the spin off kind of type of thing is that. Not that they're bad, but they just yeah. seem to always go to that kind of thing. Yeah, get you. Bring out a ASP. Let's go, bitch! 
I've only ever played the one kind of fantasy, and now I'm watching. 24,000 damage, didn't he? Dude, he's getting wrecked. You need to eat your ass, man. He did some Godzilla shit on me. I think that's not as strong as I thought it would be. Where am I flashing? Dude, I did like half his health with that move. You see it? It's tight. Ask him for the right way. Is there any way to heal me? I guess not. Just do something tight. Flare. Boom. Oh. Tell Swip. Tell Swip. Oh, ask him down. Ask him down. Bring out Thunder. Um, I'm gonna try to use everyone at least once so I can get experience with that. Okay. It's not even called experience, it's called AP, ability points. Joe says, rest in peace, Asham. This isn't the only Final Fantasy you fucked around with that shit, too. They, like, uh, I think two or three, you had to, like, use weapons to get good with them, like, level up your skill points and shit. Which is interesting. So like a, the remake or something like that. Yeah, kind of, okay. but not in a weird fucking grid. You had to like physically use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, that's what, yeah. 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 And if you run away, your defense drops to zero. That sounds incredibly annoying. Dude, this move just keeps going. That was tight. <laughs> yeah, I'm cool like that. Yeah, I mean Lulu's a freaking great. Yeah. She's the big titty golf girlfriend we all deserve. Sure. I gotta say that's pretty cool. It is cool. It's mean, but it's cool. What is that flashing? Mean? I need to know. Like if I did a red. Is it time for mix mixing? Oh, Sleep and Curse. Uh, no, not yet. I was just looking at the items. Nice. Don't touch me. Beastman. That's what I would have named him if I could name the characters. Yeah. Beastman. Beast. What is Curse Dad? Dad. Does it like suck health out of you? I don't know. You think is Waka. Oh, he's sleepy, huh? He's what? He's sleepy, huh? Yeah. I say bring out a summon or something. I might need you. Back rock, you said? Uh, no, I said Thunder Cunt. Thunder Cunt. Come on, little doggy. He's a horse. Hello, I'm horse. I do horse things. <gasps> Not really. Rude. Whoa. 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 Not cool. Little, little bitch. <laughs> Joe said, also said, whoa. He said, God, the enemy design in Final Fantasy is always so tight, though. Yeah, he's kind of cool. I like his wings. Yeah. His Dude, he's at full health. Yeah. You need to do, like, your big blasty. You're sure. healing him. 
How is he healing? Stop! He regen. <gasps> Kill it! <laughs> See, this this is when it starts to feel unfair. Hold on, I need Yuna to do dispel. Uh, I'm dead. Unless. So here is where I can do something kind of tricky. Let's put thunder on myself. Oh, so you healed? Boom. Die! Is it because he's got a big fucking... Oh, I thought it was a mushroom on his back, but it's mine. Okay, let's keep healing myself, and I'm going to do magic break on him so his magic isn't as strong, so his heals are going to be weak. That's my plan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oops. Uh, magic break. I think it stacks five times. So that's two. Uh huh. My horse is too fast for you. It's too fast. This cunt's too fast. <laughs> Ow. Honey. Don't go again. Ow. Honey. Oh, fuck. <laughs> He's a horse, not a dog. Have you seen a dog before? I don't know what a horse sounds like when they're in pain. I don't want to know, truly. Ooh, what if I get a zombie attack him? Aw, oh, damn. That would've been cool. Anyway, I have the spell, so let's use that. Fuck you. And let's send him back off. Ooh, double cast though? Eat this. No way. Ah. Oh. What a stinky bitch. <laughs> Does your ice, like, have a chance to freeze him? No, I don't think that's a fan of this game. Kaji, maybe? Hello. Hello. Uh, can- is he like immune to sleep and poison and shit? He thinks so. You can try. I might have mana with him already. What a fucking bitch he is. What a bitch he is. My overdrive isn't charging. Are you cursed? Oh, I think that's what curse does. Probably. Shit, uh, bitch. They ask, is this your first try? With this guy? Yeah. So you, you, you this, this past the part you played when you were a kid? Yeah. So you stopped at the, at the Beastman fight, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah, that's right. The Ronso fight. Yeah. The Beastmen. The Beastles. Ah, oh, you're such a twatter. They said they killed this bitch with a, with a new way that's not on the internet. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> Let's try silence. Immune. You. <laughs> no, let me try to figure this out first. Okay. Let's do 
show. Stop it. Stop fingering me. Oh! I can take his MP, I think. Osmos. Absorb MP from an enemy. Enemy me. Give me that shit so you can stop healing. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. What'd you do? I stole his MP. Uh, regen is like a gradual heal. Mm. Yeah, if we want pointer pointers, we'll let you know. Uh, he's just trying to figure it out on his own at first. He may or may not get up. <laughs> If I get a game over, I'll look it up. Or ask for pointers. Bitch. MP is zero. Hell That's yeah. a good sign. Ow. Oh no. Walk a flocker. Walk a flocker, no. Oh, I'm back. Hi. Hello. Did anything happen while I was gone? <laughs> no, Joe said Joe Bay said let the funnies continue. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. We're, I've been trying to help Steven figure out uh, a way to maybe beat this boss, so. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Very, like, not funny shit, but, like, uh, how, how we do. Yeah, he's okay. pretty hard so far. He's healing a lot less, but he's still, still doing it. Yeah, at least I got rid of that. But, like, he, he's not doing the 99, you know? Yeah. Thought I had it in the bag for a second, cause uh, that shit, you know. He still got tricks up his sleeve. Yeah, he does. Don't underestimate him. Just like the weirdest hand movements I've ever seen. What'd you call me? What? What'd you say? Uh, she just does weird hand movements. It's true. Joe, I did. I really liked Octopath, but then it got to a point where I just couldn't beat a boss, and I got really frustrated, and I've given up. But I want to go back because it's really fun. I like uh, it a lot. Oh shit, he's still healing. Half, half travel. Oh cool. You got to the final secret boss and quit. Yeah, I can't remember to what point I got up to, but I was like, this is impossible! And I just was getting really mad. And I don't like to be frustrated with uh, games. It's not the point Ooh. of them. So I, I, I had to quit for a little bit. What? Uh, They're like joke. all overly high level, so it's ridiculous. And it makes me mad. But I guess I'll have to do more grinding. Um, what do you call, uh, um, what is the reason for, uh, Broken Cookie Family? What'd you say? What is the reason for a Broken Cookie Family? Uh, that's the way the cookie crumbles. No, it's because the, uh, the father went away for, uh, cigarettes. Oh. Different way. <laughs> yeah. Joe, that's the. My heart. That's. 
That's the trip. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, um, what do lawyers wear to court? Suits? Lawsuits. Lawsuits. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you get it. I get it. Are you reading Laffy Taffy rappers? Uh, no. Uh. Is this a is this a bo it's a boss right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You gonna make him goofy bananas? <laughs> Mental brick? Yeah. It lowers his magic. I'm trying to fuck up his stats right now. How do you cure curse? Does holy water do that? Let's see. Oh, it does. You know, the more you know, you know? Learning's half the battle. Haha, uh bitch. -huh, G.I. Joe! Joe! <laughs> Joe! Pork chop sandwiches. Pork chop sandwiches! Pork chop. What do you call uh, a pony walking through a desert? Uh, flippy. <laughs> you call them. You call them a little horse. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I like Clippy better. That's right. Clippy is good. Joe Bay said a sandy corn? I don't know. <laughs> I also like sandy corn a lot. None of this. Options, black magic or what magic? Never remedy. If we've learned anything from the craft, there is no such thing as black magic or white magic. It's what is in the witch's heart. In this room? Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't like in, uh, the... The Wizard of Oz, yeah. The, the, there was an evil witch and there was a good witch too. Yeah. So what's in the witch's heart? Oh, they already have it. If it misses, they have it. Um, yeah, let's cheer. I need to raise my defenses. These games just give me PTSD of like being halfway through the boss and mom going, Dinner, get your asses downstairs. Super real, and you're like stuck on a boss. Oh my god. Wait, did I kill him? Oh, is he gonna kill me first? 
shit. Okay. Steven, dinner's ready. No, I can't. Come on. There's no safe spot. I can't pause it. It's online. God, that was always the worst. They were like, they were like save up and, get, and be done. And it's like, but I'm so far away from a safe spot. You don't understand. Shh, 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 shh. We reach the summit soon. I know. That's why I want to stop for a bit. Soon means that there's not much time left. Riku. Fine. I'll think on the way. Fine. Riku's not being a team player. She's being a little bratty teenager, because that's what she is. She's being a tinkus. She's being a teenager. Hey, come on. Let's go. We are. Almost there, aren't we? We've come a long way. <laughs> What's so funny? You remind me of myself. Before, the closer I came to Xanarkin, the more I wondered. When we arrive, Brasco will call the final Aeon. He will fight Sin, then die. I thought my mind was made up long before. But when I stood here, my resolve wavered. Hmm. Never would have figured. Legendary Guardians choke sometimes too, yeah? <laughs> Legendary Guardian. I was just a boy. A boy about your age, actually. I wanted to change the world too. But I changed nothing. That is my story. Well, storytelling it. <laughs> Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> Joe Bass says, now I'm jaded and pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> now I smoke all these cigarettes. Uh, let's see. Why, uh, wouldn't Or watch horror movies? Why? Because they were too squared. What? They were too squared. I don't get it. I don't get it either. Uh... You're Xanarkins! It's like too square. Nope. Too, too scared. Uh, oh no, my disc is crashed. Oh no. Uh, oh no. Oh, was it gonna skip? Did you, did you save? Yeah. It'll, it'll just automatically skip the cussing. Should. Edit this into the VOD. Edit the. Uh, Cutscene into the bot. Joe B says, What a pretty frame to stop. The thoughts on, kept though. floating and slipping through my fingers. My thoughts, they kept. Oh. oh. They kept. Slipping away before I could pin them down with words. That's my Tinkus. It's good. Slipping away before I could pin them down with words and my, Cut my little life legs. into pieces. My just slipping so away <laughs> before I could pin them down with words. Thank you. Thanks, Tinkus. Yuna, I say no. If say you no. There, then you'll. Riku, you're a true friend, and I thank you, but. I must go. Joe Bay says Down these cutscenes are second. just new metal lyrics. Is Waka gonna Let's push her off? Go. Oh god. <laughs> to get her down there. But should we think about it some more? He throws her like a There's like gotta a be ball. some kind of way we can save you, Yuna! All my life, I knew this moment would come. Yuni! <sighs> Thank you, Riku. Thank you for everything. They're gonna kiss. Don't say that, Yuni. They're like four. It's not over yet. Yeah. But I thought the same thing. Tell Sid. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no. You can tell him yourself. Oh. Please. Yuni, don't say that because. We're gonna see each other again, okay? 
Kimari, okay. let's go. Why is she gonna die? The f summon the final Aeon. Oh, you have to die to summon it? Yeah, and kill Sin. Yeah. I What's he think it's ocean. gonna do? What's he putting it up to his ear? It's not a seashell dipshit. <laughs> Got my life into It's just Papa Roach. That was starfish. A hot dog flavored water. Jump! Sir Oren. Hold on. Kimari told me when my father wanted me taken from Bavel to Besaid, it was you who told Kimari, right? I had always wanted to meet you someday. I am truly glad that I had that chance. Having you as a guardian was so great an honor. I don't know how to thank you. Perhaps if I defeat Sin, that will be my thanks to you. That's what I'll do. Yes. I will challenge Sin. I will defeat Sin. If you are all there watching this, then I guess Sin is already gone. And so am I. I suppose. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to say, Sir Oren, uh, I thank you. Kimari, <laughs> do you remember the first day we met? I was only seven. My father had defeated Sin, and all Pavel was celebrating. Everyone was saying what a hero my father was. I was so happy. But when night came, it occurred to me. My father had defeated Sin, and now he was dead. Now I was all alone. I couldn't sleep. So I wandered into the town, away from the celebrating crowds. I stood on the bridge in Bavel, where my father and I had parted. Standing there, alone, I could see the fields where he had fought Sin. Then, you appeared, Kamari. You said you were looking for the daughter of Vraska, remember? At first, I was so scared, until I realized what a gentle person you are. <laughs> you weren't used to talking to children. When I told you that I was Braska's daughter, you said you would take me as far from Bavel as you could. That it was the wish of a man facing death. I think I cried then, because that, that was when I knew my father was dead, and I would never see him again. You just held me without saying a word. I cried after we got to Besaid, too. When you tried to go, after leaving me in the care of the temple, I held on to you crying, don't go, don't go. And you listened, Kimari. You stayed. Kimari, thank you. Like a good beastman. Thank you so much. And I've always liked your broken horn. Waka. That's cute. Lulu. It's pretty touching. I'll never forget my days spent with you. Growing up in Besaid. We always played together. Us and Chapu. That's why I was always so happy, I think. And when you refused to let me become a summoner, and I did it anyway, I'm sorry. I've always wanted to apologize. You know... When you tried to stop me then, really, I was happy. I could tell you really cared about me. You were like my big brother and sister. No, I think you really were my big brother and sister. <sighs> what else? Tinkis. You cannot kiss to save your I life. love watching you play Blitzball, Waka. You have a lot of tape in your mouth. <laughs> I even love it when you scold me, Lulu. <laughs> really. It turns me on, Lulu. 
I guess that leaves the newest guardian. Star player of the Xanarkand Apes. You are... Pretty poggies. You're pretty poggers. Well, um... <laughs> you're, 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 you're alright. I'm glad that we met. We haven't even known each other that long, but... <sighs> it's funny. So... So this is what it feels like. It's a much more wonderful feeling than anything I had ever imagined. Wonderful. But it hurts sometimes. Mm -hmm. oh, no, I wonder. I... <laughs> I just want to say thank you for everything. <laughs> Maybe... Maybe that's why it hurts. When I... When I think about us never being together again at all. Not dead yet. To? Oh, was that like a flashback? No, he was listening to a recording. That's what fell out of her. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that thing, it dropped. Fell she dropped out of it. Her? So, um. wait, what? I'm sorry, Tinkus. I called you an idiot, a dipshit. <laughs> you didn't. And you smell bad. You didn't. You did know that it was like a seashell. Look at Xanar game. Just a just a shithole of a place. Uh next safe spot we should stop. Okay. Bro, you lived here, bro? God, it's Philadelphia. I'm just fooled. In. You've been roasted and toasted. You've been toasted. <laughs> I would, it'd be pretty awesome to live in a place like this, though. Even though it's like, you know, deserted and dead. <laughs> oh, look, this, is where says, this. this is my story, will you listen to my story? Yeah, we're gonna see the intro all over again. Oh my god, really? I've seen it so many fucking times. <laughs> Sam, 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 Sam. I like how there's a sword, there's a staff, and then there's a blitz ball. Yeah. <laughs> I want my journey to be full of laughter. You guys sure aren't fucking laughing, huh? I want my journey to be full of blitz ball. Oh. What's gonna happen to you if you defeat Sin? Are you gonna, like, just fade away into nothing? Because you're, like, a dream? You're a dream warrior? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go cry. They're all talking shit when you walk away. God, does he just smell bad? <laughs> he smells as bad um, as this place. <laughs> he smells like this. He's totally from here. He's totally from here. That's the smell. <laughs> Did you guys know he was poor? Just like... <laughs> <laughs> God, look at his... Ah, his legs are disgusting. <laughs> Yeah, they still don't believe he's like from a thousand years ago. He's like, <laughs> he's born here. He's from here. God. <laughs> God, great place, Tinkos. Jesus. Great place to live. I've been up so much. Maybe I you don't know how chance. to laugh. Uh, I 
Oh, I'm so embarrassed. This, uh, this place isn't supposed to look like this. We must have the wrong place, guys. Guys, I swear I'm not from here. <laughs> hey, there was more, right? I mean, like that time. Uh, anyone? I think... Yes? I think that we should stop. I think that you're a liar. Dating. Maybe. <laughs> She she breaks up with him because <laughs> he's poor. <laughs> oh no! Oh, this is Eunice thing. God, I can't imagine any Blitzwell team from here. <laughs> Backwater it's shit. So dry. Let's go. Let's go. Like this lips. Those are lips. That's why he that's why he's always photoshopped like smiling and <laughs> Okay, we're gonna stop here everybody. Yeah, maybe I'll raid someone who's playing this game. Yeah. 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 Or you could raid uh Mr. Shrimps twenty four seven. Bye Joe! Bye, Joe. Bye, Joe. Okay, bye. I'll bye. leave. Bye, everybody. Uh, we'll talk to some people in a couple hours. Yeah. See, see you there. You're gonna be there, Square. Bye. Bye. Bye, Tanuk. Hikari.